I've been a resident of Boise, Idaho for over 800 years. I just don't get why this always happens to me every single time. Oh, come on, guys. You get it. You, you get it, right? Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another TRC podcast where I'm your host, Dane Hennen. To my right, a very cold Levi Gates. It's like a it's it's like a uh walk-in freezer in here. Really? I don't know Feels why great. it's so cold in here. And yeah. to my left, Might Anthony my Fisher. Dane, thanks for having me. I feel like it feels comfortable inside here. Like a nice <laughs> so very comfortable cold. moderate temperature. <laughs> so of like he's the one degrees. in a t-shirt. So Even I got goodness, a hoodie on, but. I got my rag company hoodie on. Yes. Ooh. Dane's yes. got his rag company hoodie Come on. on. If you guys haven't had a chance to pick up a rag company hoodie, you should. And hopefully you got a chance last week. Yes. Yeah. And you got a TRC hat, and I got a TRC there hat. There you go. Nice. What Very hat do you cool. have, Anthony? I have a Milwaukee hat. Oh. Close um, And an OG uh, Obsessed Garage and Adam LZ MFG uh, t-shirt <clears throat> collaboration. So and he's tangential. I right am now. wearing tan cargo shorts Ooh. for anybody interested. But you okay. know what we all have in common, boys? Mm. What's that? We are all in the comfort of our friends over at Brooks Running. Yes. Uh, we are in we're wearing the, the same yep. shoes we're today. All, uh, we're all we wearing sure the did. <laughs> Brooks Ghost Maxes. Thanks to our friends over at Brooks Running. <clears throat> and I got to say that these are probably some of my favorite shoes they mm-hmm. are I have ever shoes. owned. They're Mine incredible. Too. Not only do I feel like I'm a better walker, mm-hmm. I'm a better runner. I'm just better. I'm just. I'm just, just better athletes all around. I'm putting the best foot forward with Literally. every with every step, and that's because of Brooks running. Thanks to your friends at Brooks. Wow. Literally every step I take is a form of weight training. So by mm. having these, it really does a lot okay. to offset mm-hmm. the impact. Have you and seen I his calves say, lately? It's insane. It's They're pretty huge. wild. So yeah. uh, yes. Other thing, I took it to the next level. I'm rocking Brooks socks. Oh, oh. he went there. This table. Bought, so. bought some Brooks socks. Yeah. So that Dang. not only, you know, it's like a coating on a vehicle. Okay. You want to use the prep, the proper spray, prep, prep spray yeah. created by the coating manufacturer. Okay. Uh-huh. So that way you always have the proper protection. It's the same thing, putting the proper socks on your feet mm-hmm. yeah. for the shoes that you got going on. No, you're mm. prepared. So, <clears throat> fellas, today I didn't really run this by you in advance. I did talk to Nick about it, though. Um, today, I would like to make this a more focused episode because oh. this is a recap. I know we normally talk about our weekends, but let's be honest, most of our weekends are weak. We're occupied by TRC, man. Now, we could get uh-huh. our weekends out of the way if you True. feel you got something notable no, to point out I, about I, it, I but do. personally, I, mean, I just, I was drained. So. I, I, got, I got great things. That <clears> okay, so you've got a story you want to share. Yeah, so we'll get weekend, to that yeah, before yeah. we Good get weekend. to the overall TRC yeah. recap. But what I wanted to say was, I have Nick at the ready with the website, as well as, you know, any info we may want to pop up related no. to what we're going to talk about today. Yeah. So we're just going to have that as okay. like reference when we talk mm-hmm. about new products that came out, that kind of stuff, because I do want this to be a digestible form for people who may have a missed last week's a digestive, yes, like a cookie yes, you eat after a digestive. dinner. Yeah. So uh, anyway, okay. yeah, that's that's what I had in mind. Hopefully, you guys would agree that that's a good idea for today's show. I, I think it's great. Manage. We'll have with this. We'll do a little bit of some weekend recapping. Yeah, because we have actually two technically two weekends to recap. Yeah, we do, technically. Right? It's true. Right? And uh, I don't even remember what I did we'll, before. We'll kind of do a little bit of that, and then <clears> I think we should absolutely. Jump into our TRCMA to recap. You spent the whole weekend pretty much shuttling people. Last yeah, year, yeah, last there was weekend. definitely that. It was Easter. So, so yeah. Levi, start us off. How would your last couple weekends look? Oh, it was great. You know, we had the Easter uh, holiday. Yeah, that's right. My kids uh, spent uh, Easter Sunday uh, annihilating the competition that is their other s- other Ooh. cousins yeah. uh, and other family members um, in what we call. Uh, the world championships of Easter egg hunting okay. in okay. my family. Um, <laughs> so my family likes to hunt eggs for money. Yes. That's right. You put the, so, Anthony, if you were to come over to my family's Easter egg hunt, you'd bring a little cash. Yeah. You know, you got to buy into the pot, right? Mm-hmm. Bring Lucy in a, and preferably some form of uh, heavy-duty egg uh, capture system yeah. that can, they can store and, and hold eggs yeah. without falling out. Yeah. So that's another thing. Do you think that this feeds into your family's 
problem with gambling, though. Um, no, so my family has no problem with gambling because okay. of the fact that this is a uh, championship. Okay. There is a, bur- a buy-in and a purse that can be won uh, gotcha. at the end. They so, don't feel like they're gambling. <clears throat> well, what makes your no. Easter as interesting as well is that you supply the kids with weapons. Uh-huh. uh-huh 100%. So I always thought that was yeah. kind of an interesting yeah. spin we, on we Easter as well. We start weapon training very young. Yeah. Like, uh, did, did, did you say Augie had a slingshot a couple years ago? As soon as they learn how to walk. Yeah. Uh, Augie this year uh, procured um, a backpack, and his plan mm. was to put the backpack on the front of his body. Oh, wow. So, so that way he could... Tactical vest. I like so that. So that way yeah. he was more like a vest. Mm-hmm. And his plan was that he was going to throw elbows, gotcha. but also reach for eggs and store them in the front pouch of his you backpack. Like that planning. Uh, Brass knuckles would have been helpful as well. Oh, well, oh. I had to take those from it's him. It's kind of bold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One, because it was super windy, so it got mm. cold. Yeah. Anyway, point is, <laughs> you buy in... His hands were getting cold. It's hard it's to punch. Brass, you wanna, the brass you wanna, is Yeah, the brass was well, Yeah, I mean, it transfers the... Yeah. yeah. And uh, as people saw in the, lo- in the color lock portion of uh, TRCMA, we used a big chunk of brass to draw out the heat. Of course. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we do a little buy-in. You, we hunt the eggs, and then my kids turn in the eggs, and we have me and my cousins have written on values for the eggs. Um, then they cash them in. So we had a pot this year of four hundred and ninety dollars. Mm. That's a massive for Easter pot. eggs. That's a good pot, right That's there. That's a PlayStation Five. That is a PlayStation mm. Five. Uh, then the kids, we let them out go by sequence. So younger okay. ones first, and yeah. the younger ones get a bit of a head start because they're they're small and they don't really know how to. They're not fast. Mm. And then by the time we unleash the dogs of war, i.e. Ooh. Hadley and uh, <laughs> look at our uh, other cousin Cooper or Porter. Mm. Um, they, uh, they're 12, <clears throat> so those two finally went and got yeah, all their stuff. Yeah. But uh, August reigned supreme with the highest count I guess so. of eggs collected well, that's pretty good. and a value of over $116. That's Dang. pretty good. It's pretty great considering, considering I put 30 bucks in. I love what Easter stands for. Yeah, that's how <laughs> I feel. And I think, like, in your family, <laughs> the... Well, we have the values correct. No, I think it's not, <laughs> it's not the wrong value. I think it's a, I think the core values there are, yeah. are correct. That, you're spending time with family. Know, it's You're hunting Easter eggs. Yeah. And you're trying cash, to make a buck. And you're cashing out that money, <laughs> <Yeah>. son. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's right. Get that like, paper. Yeah. So we did that. Yeah, Hadley got 56. Cash. The Hadley rebirth got, of wealth yeah. is kind of yeah, how exactly. I like to look at that. Yeah. Uh, so Hadley got fifty six bucks. She was pretty stoked about that. Mm. That's good. Both hey. of them were pretty mm. pretty pumped about it. Yeah. Um, but it was so windy and so cold that day, so we just called it a day. Went back home. Then went to my mother in law's, had some dinner. So it was a nice little Sunday. Yeah. Then we had TR Sigma this whole week. Then Friday we were off. Mm-hmm. Um, Friday morning, I ended up going to l- uh, breakfast with uh, Lars and Brian. Yeah. yeah, just because I, I, they were they texted me and said, "Hey, we're we're here till like late afternoon tomorrow. Yeah. If you want to okay. just if you're <coughs> off, you want to do something." So we got some food. Then I brought them over to the fabulous MOS HQ to hang uh. out for a little while, drink some Diet Pepsis and Pepsi Maxes. So they're just they're just basking in the ambiance, just chilling. There. We were just hanging out. You show them your you know. room that you built. Or I did. Yeah, showed him that. Uh, Brian was very jealous of it. Said he would like he oh. wished he had something like that. Yeah. At his home, the nook, yeah, yeah. He's like, "Wow, this is this is great! The Holy PPF, crap!" PPF and vinyl room. Is that's where is. I. That's what I'm keeping all my PPF and yeah. vinyl room uh, in there. But yeah, so he was really impressed with that, and then he started looking at the rest of my garage and was really impressed. Mind you, it was a shambles. Yeah, sure, sure. But it felt good that someone of Brian's caliber was mm-hmm. impressed with my workspace. That's um, not easy. That was nice. Took Lars over, showed him the trailer. Yeah. He got to see the trailer, very, was very stoked about it, mm-hmm. and was very impressed with how it looked and came out. Um, so that was super cool. And then uh, Saturday, um, or Friday night, my niece and her little boy showed up, um, and they spent the weekend with us, nice. which was super wow. cool to have them in the house. Okay. My uh, niece's son is about 18 months old or so. He's not quite two yet. Oh, guy. Okay. Um, so much <clears> fun. <throat> totally different energy in the house, because we haven't had... You know, we haven't had babies or little ones in the house, and it's it's tiring, mm-hmm. and it's stressful because our house is not baby-proofed in yeah. any way, shape, or form. Uh, but it was so fun to have him, um, have him there and hanging out. Kind of made you want another one, right? No, not at all. 
Really? You don't want to go do an untying session? And no, no, not at all. No? no? Okay. Mm-hmm. No. But it brought back good memories, though. Brought back good yeah. memories, and it was nice to see them all leave. Oh, oh okay. right. <laughs> and, or know that it's not our responsibility. Oh, okay. Right? Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing. So I look like at it, like and I go... It's like a puppy, right? It's like a puppy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and I go, you. oh, I could do this as a uh, grandparent. I, I could see that. I could yeah. see that. All right, here's your kid back. Right? <laughs> yeah. so Take this. It was weird to kind of hit that, like... Wake up and go, oh, he's awake, and yeah. be excited to go play with him. So uh, we just ran a bunch of errands, did stuff with him. But I had a truck that I detailed this weekend, a uh, newer Chevy uh, <clears throat> High Country, yeah. uh, fully loaded, black interior, black outside, just a quick my in and out on it. Finish that up. I have this family that I had the bug that I detailed. I'm doing their cars for the until first week of May. Is this truck one of their cars? Yes. Okay. So... I got a Beetle. Mm-hmm. I got this new, this new like 2020 Chevy pickup, oh, and wow. then next weekend I get a Corvette. I don't know the year or make or model. I just know hmm. that the guy that owned the Bug bought a Corvette. Okay. So I'll get the Corvette, and then I'll have a break. And Anthony's going to come over, and we're going to hang out. And then uh, the last weekend I have a, a teamwork. Yeah, I have a, a Lexus SUV. Like a GS, a new one, okay. and then a, uh, or at least two years old, mm-hmm. and then I've got a Dodge Ram. All from this family. All Gosh, right. So they booked that. me out that, for the whole, pretty much six weeks. That seems to be the case for a lot of detailers where they find, not not to call that client a cash cow, but it just seems like you find one person who happens to have a lot of vehicles and they just want to keep it going. Yeah, and they're not and asking it keeps you for, busy. they didn't, the other thing is great, they didn't ask for a discount. Based on the multiple vehicles. It tends to be like reliable. And they never said, Yeah. I know tons of people to get you work. Could I get a discount? That is the number one you know? thing that I think detailers so encounter my family when they has get that person who's just like, well, if you impress me on this one, we got a lot of cars, and I swear yeah. I'll tell everybody. And th- those are the people who almost never tell anybody. A hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> or if they did, it falls on deaf ears because yeah. they tend to be like the person who probably is like yeah. the little boy who cried mm-hmm. wolf or whatever. So yeah, uh, not saying everybody's like that. It just happens so a lot. in my <laughs> since I own my business, I had lots of people. Pre- Previous, but when I bought my business, I only had one person ever use that line on me. Yeah. Of, I know my family has a ton of cars, and we know a lot of people. We get and you a lot of business. And was it a dud? Uh, he he works right behind me. Oh, look at that! Um, yeah, he's the only person that's <laughs> ever said that to me. Huh? When he first met me. Oh no, he's Gabe's exactly. The person <laughs> he, that. And there's his yeah. name. <laughs> literally, what he he's said. exactly the kind of guy yeah. who. Would pull yeah. That no, Gabe, no. Gabe absolutely. Oh, there's that. a lot more business where that well, came from. Yeah. Trust well, me. If you he, impress yeah. me on this one, I've only well, I've only done like vehicles. I think I only did I want his him. car, and that was it. Well, no, and then Gabe, I've, Gabe's I've done some of his personal cars later on, but it's still only been. His car. I don't want to get taken for a ride. You're going to give me the best. Yeah, I did his guy. dad's car once. Well, so that's, that's why it. I was a little bit hesitant on giving him Pablo Concrete's phone number, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Because I go, listen, Gabe, <laughs> Pablo Concrete does amazing work at an exceptional mm-hmm. price, right? I don't think it can be beat, right? Correct. But what I don't want you to do is try to haggle him, right? And yeah. try to talk him down because he's already given you the best price. See, to me, that is far more offensive than what I did, which is just put it on a permanent hiatus until I can deal with the fence thing. Well, I know, but I'm, I'm genuinely worried because this, this is what yeah. happens, right? Then Pablo Concrete, when he comes out to my house next year for some project or another, mm. he's going to say, hey, Anthony, so your friend Gabe, I mean, really <laughs> was rude. And he beat he tried me up to, on price. He beat me up on the pricing, and I was trying yeah. to tell him I'm giving him the best Man. price. And uh, and I did it because you're his friend, and I didn't want to let you yeah. down. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be associated <laughs> like with that. people like that, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? 100%. Well, so, I, I just inherently understood that whatever he was, so was going to me out was probably the best price I was going to get. So there's yeah. no reason for Pablo me to Concrete's doing the Lord's work out That's there, right. right? I mean, he's he goes to the School of Concrete, right? Thank the Church you. of Concrete, mm-hmm. right? And he's preaching mm-hmm. premium concrete. Premium products. OEM concrete. Day. OEM concrete, yeah. yeah. All right, so we went off so, on a tangent, but I do want to keep this show Speaking of Pablo Concrete, I uh, <laughs> I pulled the Elantra yes. up into my wash pad. Oh. And as I was Is washing... Is your wash pad your lawn? No, it's my driveway. Oh. Okay. Uh, I was looking at Different. it. Yeah. And I was looking at all the pitting and scaling and spalding <laughs> the lawn is all the over my driveway. Mm-hmm. And I was like... I'm going to need to get a new driveway here in the next couple of years. I'm going to have yeah, to get Pablo a hold of Pablo Con- Concrete. Con- we know who to talk to. Uh, but uh, so I washed. Anyway, this weekend yeah. I got, you know, got everything fixed up and cleaned up, got that truck done. We just kind of we hung out with my niece the whole weekend. She was there till yesterday, till yesterday morning. Um, so long weekend, which was great with the family. 
And then uh, um, last night I was like, price of gas has skyrocketed. Yeah. If you, if you boys have noticed, it's gone up almost 25 cents this weekend. Yeah, no, it's a lot. It feels um, like it's already getting to summer prices. It's 390. Nowhere it was, near it. I, when I dropped Augie off, when I went to the <coughs> dentist this morning with Augie, it was 392 up there on the overland. We're just not close to any refinery, so it makes so, it difficult. I don't think that's why. I think they're just raising prices. Well, there's anyway, that too. <laughs> I thought, well, I need to be driving the Elantra. Save me some money. <laughs> Haven't driven the Elantra since Christmas, mm. since, since, uh, since the holidays. Yeah. So to speak. So it'd been sitting. So I pulled it out, set it up, got it all my got my washing solution set up all ready to rock and roll. Mm-hmm. Hooked up the pressure washer, the new Karcher, yeah. 1800 cube. And uh turbo nozzle. Took AWH, the new Koch Kemi wheel cleaner that you guys saw, Alkaline yes. Wheel Cleaner. Amazing, yeah. Mixed it up. Mm. Ten to one. That's what I mixed it at. Pretty strong. But okay. soaked the whole car down with it. Mm. Oh my god! <clears throat> sprayed the engine. Sprayed Were you the wheels. Worried about sprayed. anything? No. 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 He seems very confident. Because nothing can hurt that alone. No. 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 Rinsed it off. Soaked yeah. it. Rinsed it. Right. Then sprayed the motor down. All that. Had cups of mud coming out of the uh, right front, right and left front fenders, right at the bottom, where they come Actual down. Actual mud. Actual mud. Yeah. So it had been living just there for a little dirt while. and s- just. It just build up, build okay. up, build up. Rinse as much of that out as I could. It was hideous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, then crystal wash, like you mm. saw from our friends at PNS, sprayed the whole car down with crystal wash. Oh wow, the fan favorite. Yeah, let it crystallize, rinsed it off, hardened up. Yeah. So now I've truly chemically decon it. Gave it a high alkaline wash. Yeah. As yeah. well as the crystal wash with the organic acid. Shock mm. the system. Right. Got the got the car all rinsed off. Then little GFX. Okay. In the foam mm. cannon. Just get it in the air. Just get it in there. Get it going. Yeah. Let it let it fragrance the air. Had a couple neighbors compliment as they walked by. Like, Ooh, that smells like cinnamon. Yeah. They're very excited. And uh, and you're using the new Karcher 1800. 1800. Mm-hmm. Mm. And compared to the Sun Joe. It's nice. I really like it. The only thing I can't, I got to get different fittings for my gun so I can oh. reuse my uh, other gun, my MTM hydro gun so you're stuck uh, using the stock gun, i'm still using OEM the stock gun, the right oem now. gun no. uh which i don't mind but it <clears> is a little my muscles are different on it it's a different okay. muscle memory gotcha but me. as far as power goes oh love the power turbo nozzle is probably the greatest thing i don't know why anyone would throw that nozzle away it's where trash. it like, yeah. it's where it like it is. Is and spins oh it's right? beautiful yeah. it's the greatest thing it works so that, good at everything that in the trash i almost don't even need a brush to scrub the my turbo tires. nozzle exists for cleaning off dry w- driveways primarily no, and I think amazing. it's fantastic for that. But if you're going to use it on a car, I would say the Elantra should be the first can. No, I use it on every car I've washed so far, yeah. Dane, because You've it's enjoyed it. that safe. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'll take your word for it. But, yeah, so I've been uh, – so, anyway, did that, right? <laughs> then took the new Ultra Wheel and Body Brush. Used that as my wash media, everybody. Wow. Washed the whole car down, scrubbed <laughs> everything, dunked into my bucket. Yeah. Scrubbed the you, whole car think? down with the brush. Oh, it looks great. Is it safe? It's totally safe. It doesn't yeah. hurt nothing. Great. I'm glad you like then it. Then rinsed it off. Yeah. Right? Got all the soap <clears> off. <throat> then mixed up some of that hydro seal mm. Dang. from Koch Kemi. SOO3. Yeah. You're using all the new I products. I use all the new products. So what you're saying is you're giving us a review right now Put from your in own there. driveway how yeah. it worked. Put two fingers. On a, what, 18-year-old car? 18-year-old nice. car. All right. Two fingers of the your seal car can in, in there. Yeah. Filled it with water. Took it, did the old Jamie the Cleaner spin, Bam. foamed the whole car. Yeah. Down. Then I let it sit because I really wanted to watch this stuff sure. in action. Yeah. Right. Wanted to see dwell time. I wanted to see all this stuff. I've used it before on other vehicles. Yeah. But this is a car that I've literally stripped just about everything that was on it off. Water feed water behavior was super flat. Uh, um, soaked it, and I was worried that it would run off quickly or. It would start to spot or sure. something like that. <clears throat> no spotting. Mm-hmm. It was in the shade the whole time. Okay. But uh, sometimes these spray sealants, if you just let them sit too long, they actually like bond. Yeah, they to, they yeah, get I weird. Know what you're saying? Yeah. Let them sit for well Ooh. over five minutes, right? Yeah. I mean, it was probably almost ten minutes. Mm. Yeah. Then put on my ho- my turbo nozzle again. Rinse the whole car off. Instantaneous beads. Ooh. Okay. Amazing water behavior on the whole vehicle. Wheels, awesome. tires, everything was protected. Yeah. Flying off the car, yeah. Just everything was coming off. 
double thick foam too. Ooh. So it would spray the first layer, then it would spray the second layer off. Dang! All right. Something that we haven't seen since the since the uh, what was detailer shampoo, right? Kind of missed that. Some of that thick foam. So I was like, "Holy cow, this is awesome!" So it's not technically a soap, though. It's no, good. it's just a sealant. So it's the right. secondary parts of it yeah. is this extra steel- sealant still stuck to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rinse that off. So Rinse it didn't have clean. any like blank spots, missed spots, no, completely. Like that. It, okay. This is a hundred percent coverage with this foam. Awesome. It bound to it. It okay. bound to the vehicle. Rinsed it all off. Grab my fifteen hundred. Dried the whole car down, yeah. then back the car out so I could flip the cars around so I could park the Suburban near the trailer and up against the fence. And while I was walking, putting the keys for the Suburban back inside the house, I was walking back out, saw the Elantra sitting out on the road. Yeah. Sunlight oh glinting God. off of it. Glistening and, I go, and gleaming. Holy crap, look at that gloss. <coughs> wow. Literally out loud. I said... That car is so glossy right now. Bear in mind, this is like the most neutral toned car imaginable. Silver. It's it's a so, very so like plain Levi, looking color. It's that silver. Came out. Might mean they calm down the talk on the SO3 because I don't think it's on the website yet. <gasps> I'm just saying. On the website. People so got to I see it. I know you're going to sell people. I'm just on the saying. We're selling people got it. to see it. Do we have it on the website? I don't know, but people got to oh. see it. That's the point. I'm <laughs> showing you guys. We got like to play David with some of the products for Anthony. Thank you. And Thank you. I am <laughs> blown away again. Mm, yeah. I can't wait. So originally I got that SO3 tester because I'm going to put it on the yeah. Suburb, on the, mm-hmm. not on the Suburb, but on my trailer. Yeah. Because I think it's going to be a great product, especially for RVs. Um, yeah. I've put it on uh, another car that I detailed just to try it out. Yeah. It looks great. Really enjoyed it. But, but I really haven't had a lot of seat time enough with it to watch it. So... Wanted to get it on the Elantra so I can actually see the behavior on it, see how long it lasts. But what shocked me was 18-year-old starting to fail clear coat, mm. had a glisten and shine like it was like it looked the day I bought it off the lot. Wow. See, that's Beautiful exciting. Gloss. What you're describing is a Beautiful wash method gloss. that appeals to my lazy car it's a, wash it's sensibilities. It's a perfect, perfect day I wash. I love the sound of everything you just described. It sounds like something I would yeah. actually do. You yeah. could totally do it, Dane, and it would Dane make... Would it's effectively it. a drive through car wash, but in your Not driveway. Really. But you would still, <laughs> well, have, you still have to wash. Because you're shocking the system, and then you do your wash, and then by the time it's done, True, you end up with a great result. True, but I still the car because I had a lot of dirt on the surface. Sure, but I'm saying for like a non, like, it's super encrusted mud, whatever car... Like, I'll be honest, that would be pretty easy, I think. It would, yeah. yeah. You could probably do it with, like, active foam. Yeah. You could do just an active foam wash yeah. or a super foam wash, rinse it, and then then put, at, put super foam in, spray it, <clears throat> rinse it, dry it. Yeah, and then somewhere between Easy Coat and SO3, I could find something that would work for the yeah. protection or what, Well, no, that's yeah. SO3 is yeah. the protection. Yeah. So well, either way. I'd, yeah. yeah. So anyway, super cool. So that was my weekend in a nutshell. Yeah. Anthony. Well, it would go to Dane. I mean, Dane. Oh, okay. Dane. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, other than ferrying people around, I really did the bare minimum when it came to my weekend Easter. surrounding Tiersima because they're really, like, as Dane, far as family you Easter modified stuff, your car substantially okay. Okay. So there was in the last that. two weeks. I, I am very good at doing things. Like, I do my best work at the last minute. Yeah. So there was that. Mm-hmm. You also um, do when you sell cars. <laughs> yeah. Y- you know, when you So in the case of the things. Miata, I thought, boy, it sure yeah. would be nice if uh, since the Miata is going to be in the program at some yeah. point, if it didn't just look totally stock, I have all these parts that have arrived at my house, but I haven't taken the time to install well, them Well, you got yet. all these people coming into town. And i got all these people coming into town. You know it would be really smart is if on the day I'm expected to go pick people up at the airport, if I just got myself into some like car modification situations that could potentially compromise my ability to go and pick those people up. Right. Mm-hmm. So naturally, using my incredible, incredible you know time management skills. Prowess. Uh, and, and incredible prowess under the hood. I'm not a mechanic. Mechanic and nobody should ever believe that I'm a mechanic. I don't think anybody does. <coughs> don't don't worry. worry. Nobody nobody would accuse <laughs> me of being a mechanic. So, with that in mind, um, yeah, no, I, I changed out all the light fixtures on the car, barring mm. the headlights. So, all the side markers uh, yeah. and indicators were turned to clear lights, which mm. sounds kind of like a kind of ricey thing to do, but actually it came out very clean, very, yeah. you know, mm. subtle. And then the tail lights were kind of a personal preference thing. Yeah. I, I like them better than the stock lights, even though the stock lights kind of look like a Jag, kind of. They're, they're mm. just something about them that I'm just, like, not completely sold on. So I thought, I want some, like, thin LED strip kind of yeah. slice things, but fit in the housing. So I found some good ones online that were high quality, put them in there. I think they look very nice at night. They look cool. So I'm happy with that. 
Um, and then I installed a new exhaust on it, which oh. I've never done myself. Okay. But fortunately, not too bad, actually. Nice. And yeah. it has a bunch of adjustments I can do, so I can change the tone of the treble and the bass. So I'm excited about that. So I'm playing with it and just still figuring out what works. And uh, apart from that, I lowered the car about an inch, too. But that wasn't my doing. I had a, a shop installed because it was springs. If it was coilovers, I would have done it myself because it's just like pull it out, put it in. With springs, though, you got to disassemble the, the stuff. And I just don't feel comfortable with, like, high compression springs and all that. Mm -hmm. So I had the shop who works on my flex occasionally do that. They did a good job. Everything's set. And, um, no, I'm happy with it. I'm really yeah. happy. The car's been so much fun. And... Uh, I just I keep falling more and more in love with it. So really, nice. really enjoying it. And also, much in the same way where you were kind of like, oh, gas prices and all that stuff, I'm finding that the Miata gives me the best of all worlds because I can enjoy 30-plus miles per gallon. It's pretty much like an Elantra, and like a 2006 yeah. Elantra. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. similar gas mileage, all that stuff. A lot of I can't, pep, I can't haul handling, as many Handling people, prowess. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you got the handling prowess uh, with your your blown, you know, No, they're new, no, and, they're new uh, struts. Oh, you put new ones in there. Yeah, okay. I did that last year. So, yeah, that's right. Okay, tibby so we're struts on up. the front. Oh, you got the tibbies. Put yeah, tibby that's struts right. on the front, okay. Elantra struts on the rear. Yeah. So we're definitely on caught On H&R Springs. Oh, Oh so yeah, the whole car, yeah. That and then okay. it's got a tibby rear sway. Some would argue Perfect. that maybe that his car handles just as well as yours. Dang. Okay. Well, we I need should, to upgrade oh, my sway bars, and let's then we'll make be a, in the running. We should do some cones. No, I think I get toge run. Yeah. Yeah. All, of us. All right. We Whoever falls see. off the cliff first is the loser. No, but we can just go out to the fairgrounds and put some cones. <laughs> out. Oh, okay. We're we're and doing we a slightly time, lower. We time stakes. each other. <laughs> get through the cones. It's called autocross. The canes. I. You know what? I would love that though. If we could actually do that. Heck, after hours. If we just set it up in the parking yeah. lot here, oh man, that'd be so much fun. Your anyway, would love that. I don't know if they'd love that, but <laughs> we've crashed into the. It's building. a fun idea. Yeah. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sheldon. Really appreciate that. Um, so anyway, that was primarily what I did. But I literally finished the uh, exhaust install mm -hmm. five minutes before I was supposed to leave to go get Alex from the airport in the flex. So I had to run home, take the Miata back, switch cars, take the flex, go get Alex, and then we were on our way. Which, by the way. Alex and I got lunch at a little place down here in Eagle, which mm -hmm. I hadn't been to, but I heard yeah. a lot about, and John really likes it. It's that new Spitfire tacos, mm. you know, tequila nice, kind of place. Yeah. So Alex and I went there, and we had some bus and tacos like really good one more time what, holy cow how, how really good. how good were they they he were couldn't even say the word he was bussin'. so excited they were they were bussin'? Bussin'? they were so good they it's were like, public transportation. Mm -hmm. They were bussing. So it oh, was nice. really, you really guys were tasty. Bussing. Yeah. 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 So uh, you can ask Alex. It, he definitely liked them as much as I did, I think. But he had himself a salad. But okay. anyway, I'm speaking for the tacos yeah. were like wham bam. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Their salsa was unreal. Their salsa was something strange going on mm, with it. It had like right. a bunch of extra chipotle in it or something. It looked like nuclear. Uh, glowing red, green. It was it My was different looking. Is it was that. so good. And actually, yeah. at the end, didn't do anything to set your insides on fire. It was actually perfect. It burned clean. All burned flavor. Clean. Burned, burned clean. clean. Crispy no clean. Way. Okay. I can't say enough good things about it. it the yeah. only thing I could say negative was that it's a little expensive, but I liked it better than tacos and beer. There, I said okay. it. Yeah. Deal. Mm. I like that. Okay. So if you like, you know, it's not quite the same as El Faro, but I think it was. Dang good. So, I dig it. Yes, you should go check it out. Anyway, that was essentially the time I spent there. Then I went and picked the rest of the guys up. We had a little time uh, going around, and because it was Easter evening, I was like, well, time with family. But you know what? I grabbed the Grand Ambassadors we had, and we went to my parents' house. Perfect. So we all hung out there and uh, you know, got to know the surroundings a little bit. It was very nice. Super low-key, super chill. We had some Chicago Connection pizza all oh, together. Oh, perfect. Just a I was hoping time. the boys got some Chicago Connection They pizza. got some. They got, got some Chi-Town Connection. Al Alex so finally Cheese got to pizza. taste. It's yes. pure cheese. Taste. It's just the it's beauty just, and the majesty that is Chicago yes. Connection. Just a mountain of cheese. It's, it's I, uh, not even I'm pizza. I'm thankful that, yeah. that Alex, Jamie, and <laughs> Hunter like lack of red sauce. Got to and Matt got no to enjoy crust. It's just enjoy and, and Joey the it best is, pizza in the city. It's not good. Yes, Joey. Most it, famous. it is a comedy routine watching me get in and out of that thing. I've mastered getting into it. Essentially falling in while ducking. If I try and have the top down as much as I can, but when it's up, it is like you gotta you gotta duck. It's like getting into an old FDR X7 yeah. or something. It's very snug. I love that your family bought getting out Chicago. though. I'm like falling out. On a side note, I'm, th <laughs> yes. I'm very 
uh, proud of your family for buying Chicago Connection mm. for Easter. Because that just why didn't shows you get, like Idaho Pizza or something. Was I like, think no, it's because they Idaho had Pizza is a lower across the street. From yeah, the and and Idaho Pizza is a lower quality <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Especially I'm not getting into on that battle. On a Some day, on a day like I'm not Easter get, Sunday, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and disagree with you. I don't think that I don't think the Idaho pizza is that Chicago good either. Chicago connection. My problem I is it's a celebratory pie. I still love I, flying pie pizzeria, but their quality changed. Pie, exactly. Their and quality the did change, that Dane. Um, they used to be the top two yeah. was the flying Back pie and the like Chicago connection. 16, 17, well, somewhere prior to that, I'm talking about the 80s. Oh no, no! But I'm I'm talking about before <laughs> they changed like their dough recipe or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. They were amazing. They before, were delicious. Before like 2017, yeah. somewhere around there. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. you know. I'm I think that the best Let's in town see. is Guido's. I I do Lunch not care for Guido's. No, I am. Too I anyway, mean, it's too we are thin. getting off topic. I tried it's to a, make this a, a Tier Sema recap episode, and we have yeah. not touched on the main okay. subject. But Sorry. Anthony, you have a story about your weekend. Okay, so uh, Easter Easter yes. weekend. Um, I would say that that particular weekend was pretty packed full of just getting <laughs> it's the, supposed to be Alex. the the house ready for the festivities, right? Yeah. So, um, getting my daughter, we we dyed some eggs and whatnot, and getting getting kind of her all ready for that. And then Sunday, uh, for Easter Sunday, had all my family over on both sides of the family, my wife's side of the family, my side of the family. Yeah, uh, they came over for like a full kind of Easter, yeah, kind of like a meal and just mm-hmm. kind of hang yeah. out. And it was a really good time. I think everybody had a good good time and. Um, you know, my, my mother-in-law helped come over and help 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 clean the house with us and whatnot and get, just get everything prepared. And so I would say overall, I liked that particular Easter. I do wish that it, w- it was lacking some type of Easter hunt, right? Okay. So, for example, in previous years, we, did, we, we do what's called a bottle hunt, right? It's where somebody goes out and buys, like... Four hundred dollars in drinks, right? Yeah, and then we go and hide all these bottles over. So it could be beer, it could be like seltzers, it could be energy drinks, right? Mm-hmm. It could be like frappuccinos. And so previously, Katie's grandma would go out and buy all these drinks, and then in their backyard, we w- it'd be like a frenzy. All the adults, I mean, there's just there's like what, five of us, six mm-hmm. of us that would run out and go grab collect as many bottles as right, we can yeah. using the original containers, right? So we would have like. I mean, I'd walk out of there with, you know, Coronas and all Blue Moons and all sorts of different, you know, beers and whatnot. Um, And then maybe, like, Katie's family would come out with, like, a bunch of random energy drinks. And Mm -hmm. I'd go, I'll trade you, right? I'll swap you some of mine for yours, right? And at the end of the day, we all ended up with some of our favorite drinks and it always worked out. Yeah. This year, we did not do that. Mm. So it was lacking that, which I think would have been fun. Yeah. Um, But it kind of, you know, it kind of was what it was. So... Tier Sema happened, and then because uh, I wasn't able to join the Grand Bastards for that Sunday night, I just family was over late, didn't really have enough time. Sure, I would have been too tired. We'd wake up early Monday morning. So uh, then this last weekend here, you know, post TRCMA uh, Friday, I went to my physical therapy appointment. Right, mm-hmm. so I am on what my like in my two months. Two and a half months oh, yeah. into this back issue that I've had, right? With like this uh, sciatic pain. Doesn't seem to be getting better. It's <laughs> so funny you say that, Levi, because it's not. Mm. It is not getting better. Do you think something okay? like an inversion table for about a hundred bucks would maybe not not <laughs> hurt? I am. It yeah, might I help. Just what if it heals crack. you? Okay. What if something as simple as an inversion table for a hundred dollars on I am, Walmart.com? I am, no, mm-hmm. I am going would to heal you. If my wife is listening to this, I'm going to buy an inversion table, probably off Facebook Marketplace for like super cheap. Oh my! But like basically, what's happening is I'm going to physical therapy mm-hmm. for like. I think like four weeks now, right? Yeah. I've been trying to go twice a week, right? Doing different stretches, doing different things like that to relieve pressure, right? right? And the problem is, is that we don't know what it is, right? Do I have a slipped disc? Do I have a herniated disc? Is there some type of pressure on? Regardless, there's pressure on some type of nerve that I have going right. on, right? And I'm the most upset because I think about like less than a month ago, I was able to go to the gym, walk, run, step, Stairmaster lift weights on everything other than yeah. legs, right? And I was able to do a lot of things, right? Yeah. As of this week, this last Friday, right? I went to my physical therapy appointment, yeah. did a couple new different exercises, did some like decompression do, stretches. Do you want to start doing burpees with me? Ooh. I can't. I left Dan, there. Would you like to start doing some burpees with me every day? I mean, you do burpees just, every morning on the podcast. We seems, come in here and we knock about three or four burps out. Me <laughs> burps, <laughs> <himself>. burps myself. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I can burp anytime I like. Thank you very much. Oh man. But anyways, so on Friday, I went to a yeah. physical therapy appointment. He goes, yeah, you know, I think we're, you know, we're, we're, you know, uh, he's, he's like my physical therapist. He, nice guy. He's doing, he's doing his best. He was like, yeah, I really like to see more improvement at this point, right? You've been coming here for like four weeks, and yeah. we're still not. I'm still not seeing the improvement I'd like mm. to be seeing. He probably right? thinks you keep injuring yourself. And he's like, "Yeah," I was like, "What do you do?" He's like, "He's like, well, I'm like, I go to work. Typically, I'm either on you know my phone for doing you know work related stuff, or I'm on my computer, or I'm out shooting videos and stuff like that." And I looked at him. I go, "Dude, what do people do that like?" Um, like that are like full full manual labor jobs, like home builders, right? Uh, uh, people laying limestone, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck do you? What the heck are they doing when they have this kind of pain? Nothing, dying Just through it. Like what are they? Ibuprofen do? <laughs> every morning, buddy. Like what's the what's their yeah. plan? Because I'm sitting here like I'm physically, you know, I don't have it that bad, and I'm still dying. So, oh, man. Um, anyway, so. I went to my physical therapy appointment my Friday afternoon, dude. I was hurting so bad, like I didn't even know what to do because yeah. it's like, um, uh, it's like, can I do where you your sacrum is, right? Like there's pain in there. Mm-hmm. It's the bottom of your spine, yeah. right? There's mm-hmm. pain there, right? But there's also pain in my glute, and it's, all, it's also shooting down my leg, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. The idea when you have like a sciatic, I'm, what I'm, what I'm gathering, right, is that you, the if you don't have pain in your leg, ideal. Right, if you want to isolate that back up to your back or low back, right. and you yeah, want to keep you that, push that. You out. want to get that up and out of there, yeah. right? Because that's bad. That means you're on yeah. the nerve, and it's just it's just going to continue yeah. to probably get worse, right? So yeah. you want like to have to have surgery up out of there, right? Yeah. And so I'm on. I was on. The, I was on like the like a month ago. Yeah. I was like, okay, dude, it's only in my real low back and maybe top of my glute, right? It's not bad, okay. Month of physical therapy, and I don't know if it's the physical therapy or whatever it is, but a month later, right? Now I have it in my foot, right, which is it's going the opposite way. Right, it's going down. And it's going down. So are we going to have to cut your foot off? I am doing less. I'm not even going to the gym. I'm not even doing. I'm not even doing. I'm not trying to push it, right? So, needless to say, I'm really frustrated. I feel like here, if this keeps going, in about another couple of weeks, I'm going to be like Professor Xavier, mm-hmm. right? Oh no, right. I'm going to be wheeling around in a wheelchair. Yeah. And right? we're going to say, Anthony, why'd you <laughs> shave your head? And you're going to say, because I had to. Because <laughs> I, I had to. <laughs> I'm in a wheelchair. Why hell? Why wouldn't <laughs> I? It was mine. Oh, man. So um, I don't know what to do, but I am getting a little stressed because here in a couple months, uh, we're going to, uh, me and my <clears> wife <throat> and my daughter are going to Panama for yeah. a wedding, right? Yeah. For my father What if you get some work done wedding. down there? I don't, know. I don't necessarily know if I want work done down in Panama, but regardless, we're going to on this trip, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be on this plane for like 15 hours or something yeah. like yeah. that, right? It's like joy. It's, it's like multiple flights. Yeah, it's your dream, right? I couldn't do that right now. I couldn't even think about that. I would die. I would yeah. it'd be in so much pain. It'd be so ridiculous. So, are you taking any pain medication? I, ibuprofen, ibuprofen, Tylenol. I, ibuprofen, yeah. How much ibuprofen? Like three in the morning and like three at night. You need to bump that up. I don't think you should. I think that's, that's a, a that's, lot. That seems like a lot. That well, not it a all lot. depends like, on what size. Like, how much pain are we talking? You need to numb it. Well, <laughs> Levi, <laughs> if you want to get the job done, you want to go to work in the morning, you yeah, got to get that don't, pain don't, gone. Please, people don't take this as medical advice. I was going to say, Levi please, right God, don't take this as medical advice. Anyways, this is not. <laughs> so we are not doctors. We're saying maybe we bump it up one more. Maybe yeah. we take four. Yeah, I don't, I'm not in really the morning. Sure. Yeah, possibly four in the evening. Possibly. Maybe you bump it up two. You take five. It's thousand milligrams. Hospital prescribe maybe. you a thousand milligrams. Maybe, maybe I don't know. They make thousand. So milligrams I can appreciate this, but I did say this is a TRSEMA recap episode. Yeah, so, Somehow, so, uh, at I, some I, point, I'm we do have to, to recap I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get through this. So, <laughs> Lordy. anyways, um, I'm still working on it. <laughs> okay. I have another physical therapy appointment tomorrow. <laughs> what about what about like yoga? Oh boy. So eccentrics. My sister's a. Dude, a fine I, purveyor of a no, centric. I'm about to go. I'm about to go see some like voodoo witch doctor. Like mm-hmm. honestly, I'm, I'm at that stage right now where I would like to find the person who has my doll, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Who's just poke. They probably have your doll, but There's they le- but it fell off of like a refrigerator and it's just kind of stuck. The you leg got run is, over by a truck. No, it's just kind of stuck <laughs> in a spot, and the leg is bent right in the spot where the pain Man. is happening. I don't know. I, 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 it's probably I, I, I don't know desk. who's doing this to me, but it's not great. So Friday w- was that. Then mm-hmm. Saturday, um, weather was bad, dude. Yeah. I mean, weather got super rainy. We got so much rain. We got I mean, snow, too. We got <laughs> rain, snow, um, tons of wind, kind of where yeah. I was at as well. And I was like, dude, 
I think for the most part, I'm probably just going <laughs> to kind of kick it inside, right? So cleaned up around the house, did what I could. Um, and it just so happens to be, right, that this is going on, like this back issue I have right now, at its worst, my daughter is at her most active state mm. she's mm. ever been in, right? It was only so, a matter of time before somebody said it. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, my daughter, she's just, she's just like, she's just like the little Energizer bunny, right? Yeah. So she's just constantly running everywhere, and she's just, daddy, daddy, like you know, pick me up, and oh, or like man. let's play, let's <laughs> dance, right? The cutest, and moments, you don't want to disappoint the her. The best moments of like me and her probably I'm gonna have at this age. She's yeah. gonna grow up and, so fast. It's like, and then oh, no. she sees me with like this tens unit on my back looking like Bane, right? <laughs> As I'm like on the couch breathing heavy and yeah. she goes, Daddy, are you hurt? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, Daddy's just a little hurt right yeah. now. You asked her to bring you I'm a only drink? 34 yeah. and I am <laughs> sitting here welcome, welcome. on my deathbed yeah. and I didn't even do anything, right? Probably slept there, on Joey this said the yeah. thing. So anyways, it's ridiculous. This is, this is the stupidest but I was, thing. I, I was your age Yes. when uh, I woke up in the morning yeah. and my, one of my arms didn't work. Yeah, I would That's take scary. that straight up. Just I would rather have that. Couldn't use it. You, yeah. You'd try and move the muscle, and it's just. And if I tried to move it, absolute pain. Ooh. Yeah. Absolute pain. And it was, and going to the doctor, and he goes, mm, this is going to be your life now. Slept you're, on it wrong. N- yeah, or? your arms are just going to take, take these breaks where they're just not going to work anymore. <laughs> and yeah. Just in the middle so of lifting something but, incredibly but then said, heavy. You know what? I and then he break. said, well, you do need to have surgery on them. Yeah. Like, that's just how it's going to be. Ugh. And that was what led me to coming on to the rag company was four years later at 38 Sheesh. was becoming was or 37 was because I couldn't do the physical yeah. work of polishing and working on a car every day. Yeah. And that has ceased the amount of times that my arms stopped working. They now work a lot. They now still work. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Amen, right? You might need to knock on the real wood over there oh, just to make right. sure you knock on some. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's so, some real wood. Anyways, uh, I'm going to continue trying to work this out. Yeah. You guys update, let you know, you know how this is going. But it Best was pretty hilarious because on Saturday, right, Yeah. I need to get some energy out right, right. of my mm-hmm. daughter because she's running around like crazy. Yeah. So what do we do? Uh, we'll look for some fun things, indoor sure. things that weren't going to be packed. Okay. And so me and my wife go, what if we go to Barnes & Noble? Yeah, right. We have a bookstore. We That's harmless. We haven't there been, we haven't been right. there in a yeah. couple of years, yeah. right? Like, what's what's going on over there, right? So we head to Barnes and Noble. Immediately walk in, and we are greeted by the smell of books, right? The smell of that. It's a wonderful that paperback smell. and and what is it hardback goodness, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Just just yeah. amazing. Also, uh, fun fact: Boise, Boise Barnes and Noble yeah. also full of uh, human dust. Yeah, from the crematorium next door. Yeah. Ooh, okay. The other wow, that was a, is not what I expected ashes. to hear. Are you sure? One hundred percent. So what? Anyway, oh, keep going. Speaking of that crematorium, wow. that place is so sad, dude. I that's our only. What cre- you thought cre- it was going to be happy? No, that's our only cre- <laughs> crematory that we have here. A right? crematorium here that we have in Boise, right? I believe so. We'll literally that talk place, about anything besides TRC. No, at this that place point. is. No, I drive. We drove by it, right? And Katie goes, "Why is all this trash on the lawn? I'm like, why does it look so sad? It's it looks trash. like it's like stuff. It's dude, antiques. It's oh, dude. Boy. It's Other garbage. They have the bell like, tower from the coal school. I don't want to be cremated there. I would rather <laughs> oh, be. I'd rather no. have it done in my backyard or my garage, right? Yeah. And then spread my ashes somewhere. Don't put, don't bring me to that place. I don't yeah. like that building. Anyway, so you were at Anyways, Barnes Noble. Went to Barnes Noble. <laughs> Checking things out, and um, we were there for a little while. We had a good time. I feel like their kids section isn't as big. Like they feel like they used to have a huge Thomas the Train kind of feature. Now it's just this very sad two by two table. Mm-hmm. And I thought I thought there was more to that, but maybe I'm remembering things different. I'm not really sure. Uh, long story short, after that we went to um, uh, I think it was called Owls Sporting Goods. Okay. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, pr- pr- pretty nice place. place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So went went and checked that out. Had a good time there. And then she saw a ton of energy. So what she say? She goes. Uh, my wife goes. Well, let's figure out something else. So I said, How about we go to Pojo's? Ooh, Le- Levi, lovely place. Levi talks about Pojo's One quite of often. Levi's very favorites. Good time. And I'm like, Well, let's 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 try it, right? So we go over to Pojo's. I've never. Keep in mind, I've never been. To Pojo's. Never? No, that's why never. it's so amazing to me. In my I've life. I've never been there. Okay. I've never been to this place called To Pojo's. set the stage, basically. I feel like that's where our next like think, group party has to be. Think old school arcade 
think like Chuck E. Cheese's, but more for like a teenage audience. Like it's not fully older. It's, it's an got arca- kids it's stuff. An arcade. Yeah, but it's like it's in the classic sense you would have yeah. found in the eighties or something. Inexpensive arcade. That's what I. Yes, love. it's it's affordable and um, it's got some quirks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so we walk into Pojo's, and all I could think about was all the things Levi has said, right? Yeah. Like, hey, it's a good time. You're gonna you're gonna love it. And my wife <laughs> is looking at me. And she's just like, I'm she, trying so hard to make this about. My, my wife is looking at me and she goes, "You're in, you're in for a treat, right? Walking, walking the pojos." So we walk in there, right? Immediately, right? I went from Barnes Noble smell, right? That yeah. like that wonderful book smell yeah. to the smell so of cold hard. I, coins. I, it, it's coins, sweat, and a little bit of everybody, a little right? Bit of cheese pizza, a little bit of cheese pizza, and um, <laughs> they have a carousel thing in the front, which is kind of cool. My daughter immediately was like, "Oh, look at the horses and stuff like that." But we walked back further, and this place was run rampant, right? There's people all over the place running on the coin machines and stuff like that. And the way it kind, of, the way I kind of felt is the amount of adults there. I feel like people that could not quite fill their gambling needs, maybe in somewhere close like Jackpot, right mm-hmm. in Nevada. Yeah go to Pojo's because they get yeah. like the same kind of feeling yeah. of putting coins in, right? With their drinks and whatnot. Right. I, uh, muscle memory. I told my wife I'm surprised that Pojo's you're not allowed to smoke in that place <laughs> because for an arcade for kids that looks like a place that you can smoke in. <laughs> so oh, no. we were there we were there for a little while and I said, okay, let, I think I think let's get out of here. And we went and got some some <laughs> soup and salad at some, you know, at whatever it was, cafe is Oh, or whatever, man. yeah. And then um, Sunday, I was pretty much dead. My back was so bad that I couldn't even know what to do. So I uh, laid around, watched some movies, rewatched Dune one, right? Just to go. kind of you know get excited about rewatching yeah. Dune two because that's going to be coming out to streaming here soon. And then um, I did some other things. I, I I don't know. I think I I tried to clean up the garage. Oh, and that's what I did. Yeah. Um, right now, I don't know if Home Depot is still doing it. I needed to pick up some more Husky cabinets some wall cabinets yeah. to store some of my chemicals right now instead of like 200 bucks a piece they're 150 bucks a piece oh, that's a good price. and so they're 50 bucks off um so i picked up some of the pick up two of those from my garage if anybody's interested i don't know if the sale is still running or if it's ended but then i also noticed that lowe's was running an insane deal on ego products from our friends over uh, at ego and we had a couple different people like anthony blaine pick up the deal where yeah. he got a 615 blower Ooh. and he got an edger and a 2.5 amp hour battery right for 170 bucks yeah. whoa Crazy that is deal. a good deal insane yeah. deal so i i think the deal maybe has ended today Holy or it cow. was ended yesterday but you can Go on to Lowe's and check it out. So, yeah. anyways, that's that's what I got. Dane, let's do our TRCMA recap. I mean, exit is here. Who had he would do it? That's how we get it. Oh my uh, gosh! Wow. <clears throat> so is no, this is the part where great, we talk about TRCMA? Yeah. So TRCMA <laughs> was a great week. Uh, oh man! For those wondering, every morning, <clears throat> yeah. I would show up at the fabulous home to suites yes. and pick up the boys, pick up Jamie, uh, Hunter, Matt, Alex. And uh, I think that was it, right? The four of us? Yeah, and it was normally you guys. Yeah. And then we'd head on in. The first day, we didn't stop at Caffeina. We just got right. here because it wasn't sure. The next yeah. days after that, we did make a fruitful stop at Caffeina so the boys could get their morning coffee. Right. Yeah. Um, but once we got in here, Monday was an action-packed day yes. full of so much stuff. I can't even remember what we had. Mm-hmm. But uh, we had uh, PNS. We had uh, Flex started it off. Yeah. Uh, so we got to see all the new Flex tools, the stack packs, the products. Super cool. Uh, in case you were wondering, the Flex um, uh, batteries are currently being developed so that they can work with the older Flex tools as right. well. So they're creating um, units that can work. So that way <clears> you don't have to worry about like uh, like my old DeWalt drills. That mm-hmm. were battery powered. I can't use them because the batteries, the new battery right. technology doesn't yeah. translate. Um, it's a di- completely different design. So that's really cool that Flex is doing that. They're they're really working on that kind of stuff. But then mm-hmm. they've built some really strong, powerful tools. And for those that missed it, Ego and Flex are 
owned by the same company. So the yeah, ego like battery the technology. Wait, the guy is the same from the other is utilizing it, Flex is utilizing ego's battery technology to create yeah, these should. products. They should absolutely so, do that. <clears throat> truly amazing, very yeah. strong, powerful tools. Now, before we go too deep into this, I'm almost treating this like it's a second half to the whole show. So understand we will go over time. I'm sorry, Nick. I want to make sure we're thorough about this. But another thing I want you to do, make sure you hit like on this video. You've been watching this far. Come on, guys. Your viewer count has gone up significantly since we started talking about this, yeah. so it's good. But I also wanted to say I had Nick pull up the uh, YouTube channel on the other side so that you could see where to find TRCMA. Say you missed it or something and you yeah. wanted to be able to see, you just go to the rag company on YouTube. You scroll down, you'll see your videos and everything, but see right there, playlist, TRCMA 2024. All you got to do is go from left to right. That's mm -hmm. all you got to do. That's all the days right there. And we are working on adding chapters so that you're able to find what you're looking for in each one if there was a particular yeah. company you were interested in seeing. I just wanted to make sure and point that out to anybody who was wondering, hey, I missed it. Where do I go? That's it right there. And of course, I hope you're subscribed to the Rag Company channel as well as the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel. We would love to see each one of those days have 10K views. That ideally. is a goal this year. Because I feel rad. like they really, really They're did so an close. excellent job. All viewership yeah. was awesome. Yep. We're very close in all of them. Please keep those numbers cranking. It just drives home how much we want to do next year's even bigger mm -hmm. and better. But numbers do matter. As much as we don't want them to, they just do. So... Please help us out on that front. Thank you. And, uh, okay, we can get All back right. to it now. So, and I have some saved questions for people who asked perfect. earlier, like Christy and you. I'll get to your comments. Don't worry. I'll, I'll bring them so up So, yeah, so obviously, like we said, Flex with the new battery technology, uh, the new 18 to 24-volt adapter, and then their new 24-volt power tools. So that was super cool to see and utilize, plus the new stack packs and how that all works out. Um, and the ability to build upon them and, and mount them on your walls and all kinds of cool stuff. Then we had PNS with the with their new polish mm -hmm. rehab, their rehab. new compound yeah. polish rehab, which is awesome if you guys haven't tried it yet. Uh, a couple new fragrances, the um, and then they uh, uh, brought out their new snow foam frostbite. So yes. um, all that was was really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Then we got into Avery. Avery brought up and talked about, we had Justin Pate talk about their training programs. So again, you guys, uh, you can go to our events page on the Rag Company's website, and you can see as more events are going to come up, mm -hmm. but we are hosting Avery Denison trainings, but Avery Denison mm -hmm. has them all over the country. Yeah. Uh, you go to Avery Denison's website, just type in Avery training, and it'll pull up that kind of stuff for ADG graphics training. And you can get PPF trained, you can do uh, tint training, and you can do color change training all over the world. There's probably one near you. It's a thousand bucks a class, but you get all the tools and equipment and yep. a free roll. Yep, which amazing. Is pretty rad. Yep, so, good deal. Uh, make sure you guys uh, check that stuff out. Then we got to see a little bit from, uh, from Fellers, which is the distribution company that sells um, pretty much everything you need for whether PPF, vinyl, or tint. Um, you can buy from us with the Rap Institute products, mm -hmm. but if there's anything else you need where you're like, I just need a roll of film, or you look at fellers and you're like, you know what, I think I'm gonna tackle my bumper, and I only need like Nate did. Nate just here at, Rag, at the Rag Company, Nate, our graphic yeah. designer, did the whiteout on his uh, Chrome, on yeah. his truck, on his Tundra. So he bought a couple yards, was all he needed, of white vinyl, he ordered it from Fellers, and nice. it shipped within a day, and he got it and was good to go. Um, so that was super cool. We really love Fellers for joining us for that. Yeah, yeah, no, it was great. And then we had TWI with Rap Institute, uh, Justin talking about not only what the Rap Institute is, but the entire tool line that he's created for folks. Right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. extensive, so it can yeah. get a little confusing unless you you know what you're looking yeah. at, which is why his training is pretty important yeah that was super cool and then diamond pro tech the boys showed up with a couple new mm -hmm. uh pro products so if you guys want to become pro installers of diamond pro tech go to the website diamondprotech.com and sign up because uh they're just making the pro line that much better and that much stronger it truly um, is so it's a true pro pro product and then anthony Mm. You closed it out. <laughs> I did with Alex from Viper Chair. How was like, that? Was that looked like fun, I dude. Put it's a little TikTok out yesterday I, with I, the I non sequiturs. You were throwing the audience's well, way. I think that it it probably does, maybe it doesn't need to be said, but uh, me and Alex really don't know what we're doing. 
on our segments yeah. until about an hour before, right? Yeah, you kind of guys improv the whole. It's thing. not. And it's not that. And it's not that we don't like. It's not that we don't. We, we, it's we more want, magical. We when you want do it to that go way. in there without a plan. Yeah. Like we think it's more fun that way, and we think it's honestly just it's more it's a little bit more genuine. But like when we started it off, it was funny because like it was trying meant to be like sales pitchy and kind of fun, yeah. and then it kind of just started getting super goofy because genuinely, like when he uh, when he was grabbing things off the cart, he grabbed like the beer and he goes, "Yeah, I got the bottle holder, dude." I was dying when he was trying to crack open that bottle. It was missing every time, <laughs> and he finally got. I was laughing so hard and. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good time. And I think I, I, I had a whole segment where I talked about taxidermy on the car, right? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. You're like, oh, I mean, you can mount taxidermy. On a, on on a real thing. note, like genuinely, that is the nicest card I've ever seen. I've oh, ever felt. I yeah. don't know. I don't know how you can build a higher quality detailing car. If you want me to be a hundred percent honest with you, I just don't. I don't even think it's possible. Well, people get um, hung up on price, but you have to understand this is not like one of those plastic. No, carts like that's you that's, see. that's it. Is that's it. So like that's, you that. buy that card, it's going to last you probably. In, it's like the kind you can kids. give to your kids. kids. <laughs> like like yeah. it's, no to like, last. Like, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not messing around when I say like the hardware is insane. Right. The the build quality is insane, and structurally you can't. There, there's nothing you could do to that cart that would destroy it genuinely. And I think that the casters, right, down the road, if the cast, you got like off road <clears throat> casters on there. The casters, they had tread on them. It like, was kind of crazy. Those are going to last forever. Like, I, I just see. I see no way that that cart could ever fail or be a problem. Yeah. So, yeah. 600 bucks, right? Yeah. It's more <clears throat> than probably most carts you would buy, right? But that's it. Like, that's the cart. You're going to have it for yeah. the rest of your life. You don't ever have to worry about another cart again. It has enough attachments on there where you can put quite literally everything on that thing, right? Yeah. I mean, you can hang all sorts of different goodies from it. So I highly recommend it. I think that's amazing. And then as far as the chairs go, we really we covered it in the segment, but, like, the Low Pro is probably one of the most, you know, all, versatile. Well, versatile all-arounders. Yeah. Um, the Robust Steel awesome as well um they did some new branding on some of their new chairs which is super cool as well and they're also going to be doing some more collabs is what alex made it sound like yeah. to where they're going to offer more color schemes and more limited drops so if you're into that cool if you're not then you just buy their standard colorway but yeah regardless we had a really fun segment <laughs> it was alex fun. is alex is one of my favorite people most people don't know alex was a grand bass he was a grand bass he, he was lex garage um, Do you think he got the job because he was a grand ambassador, or I just because he's that good? I don't know. I think he's just fun. He's a fun, he's fun. time. He's but fun. Um, but yeah, now he represents Viper, right? And he's there, you know, kind of their front man. And so I love <laughs> the fact that he could come out here, have fun with us, do mm-hmm. what we need to do. But um, highly recommend if you're if you're ever even questioning the price, don't question it. I mean, they yeah. they do a hundred and five percent yeah it's like money back. Yeah. basically if it's like 400 bucks you get 20 bucks back if you hate it but you get all your money you plus another 20 bucks and 20 bucks because they're that bucks. confident you will like it and it's, it's true it's, like the build quality is insane it's when dude. you build to a quality point rather than the price point the price is secondary when it comes yeah. to their thought process of making this stuff yeah like which is it? a different way of doing it because i understand a lot of people out there are like oh i need the cheapest thing so no, i know like we buy and i i understand get once but you these get the are box not for that. and you feel that <laughs> zinc coated hardware that grade eight har- hardware you go oh my god like this is the nicest uh, yeah. hardware no, they're, i've they're ever tough had on heck, anything man. so it's just not it's not comparable to a harbor freight yeah. thing I, I saw that there was a lot of comments about the price in there uh, always going to be because there's it, always going to be it's un- un- unless it. it's like 150 bucks everybody goes whoa it's like it's just not for the people who are going to complain well, about that so my dad when he built a shop put bought a table from boeing yeah 18 feet long mm-hmm. it's used that they use to build jet engines on makes sense. Like they mount engines on it. It's massive. You might say it needs to be sturdy. It's massive. <laughs> it's huge. It's all half inch plate, quarter, but it, but it turns. You just push it with your finger and the whole thing spins. It's crazy. Like a lazy Susan on top? No, the whole, or the whole, the whole thing, thing can rotate. Oh, so the casters at the bottom. The casters super roll smooth. that, that well. Interesting. The table is 40, 50 years old. Yeah. But that table Will last another fifty years. Let's like when Boeing. When my dad dies, really I will inherit that table, awesome and stuff. I won't have it's as big as my travel trailer. Mm-hmm. Like I won't have a spot for it. And I don't remember how we got it into his shop in the first place. I think we built the shop <laughs> around it. But the point <laughs> that is, makes sense. Um, 
when you have something that's high quality like a Viper detail cart, that's going to be the last one you're ever going to own. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. You won't yes. have to worry. You go buy those Husky carts. They're, they're good they're for what the you last. want to be. I had them in my but detail shop, but it's just they only the last thing. a couple of years under heavy abuse and use, or the casters start to break, or they sit outside in the weather, or Eventually, something whatever. will yeah. happen. I mean, you can make them last if you really try, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want something that Truly. will look awesome years and years from now still, yeah. these, these are like the end all yeah. be all. Yeah. That's what it's about. So then we went into Tuesday morning. Well, Monday night, we went axe throwing. That's mm-hmm. right. We took them out to base camp. We took everybody out to base camp that night. Had some uh, sliders, some mm. finger stakes, mm. some uh, Bunch of some uh, quesadillas. Yep. Quesadillas, yeah. And, uh, quesadilla. and then we and some chips and salsa. And we threw, threw some axes, some ping pong, yep. and some uh, cornhole. So, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of great conversations to be had. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of good jokes it's and whatnot. It's fun getting all those different people together. Yeah. Yeah. That was super rad. Uh, then, Tuesday morning, kicked it off with Stiarna Gloss. Jack, right. doing a pre-recorded video, absolutely killed it. Yes. Such a great presentation. But it was live for parts uh, of it. He did come back in for a live q and I think it was, I think it's, that's how it should be done. It, uh, if you're going to do it that way, he really did he, the best He set the bar that. For, yeah. for that level of, of quality. I mean, he sourced the car. He did everything yeah. that, I mean, I mean. Shout out to Jack. He did an amazing job. And yeah. so uh, it was he did a awesome. good job transitioning between himself live and yeah. recorded. Really good uh, stuff. Then we had uh, Shad and Jason talking about the IDA. Shad Stoker is the new uh, president this year for uh, the IDA. Also an uh, absolutely wonderful so person. So they came, hung out, did a, did a presentation on, on maybe you want to become a part of it. Yeah. Um, then it was me and uh, Tom Smith doing yeah. Buff Bright. With the and bag of dog hair, as and always. dog hair, and and partying oh, and man. and suction. <laughs> um, then uh, solution finished with uh, Anthony and Chris West, a couple guys. Yeah, uh, tradition. Just talking trim. Yeah, yeah. We, we were hungry like for it. Like they love to yeah. do. Just enjoying themselves. Yeah. And then into the epic mm. Grand Ambassador game show. That was so fun. Seriously, you that know, well was written, was so great, fun. Great, you know, I just, I don't know. The best I, part I, was there was a like laugh track and response track going on in the background that none of them could hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like Nick or Glenn were popping it in and just like what, ooing what, and awing and booing and was clapping. There and all was there a delay on funny. everything or was there no delay? Because it was pretty tight, honestly. Pretty oh, tight. Okay. They did a they Cause did, cause did a good job keeping I, it on. I need the, to rewatch yeah. it because I in my ear he was delayed. Right, so like we would laugh and then it'd be like. Two seconds later, then ha 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 ha. I'm like, well, because they're trying mm-hmm. to like keep it in there. I think some of the delay was actually intentional at times. No, but, yeah, but no. The Aaron did an incredible job. Oh my gosh, he like, is great. a fantastic. A- Aaron, host. Aaron from customer A-A-Ron. service, yes. did a great we, job. So what was funny is that I, I guess I didn't give the grandmasters the rules, right? Because I wrote out all the questions. Right? Oh no, they all looked uh, like they were the just Lord. like, what's happening? Dude, they, <laughs> they were, knew no, the answer. So they were fast. hungry. They were. They were immediately mm. like, I'm talking. Aaron couldn't even list off all four options, so we had to kind of say, like, all right, let him read the options. The rule goes, is you got to let him finish let reading him, it all off let before him get you through answer. D because we had some great multiple choice questions. But they only figured it out answers. once they yeah. <laughs> were, like, halfway through the game. So, because there was just some funny ones that I threw oh, in there. So and so fun. Um, but, no, they, they, they killed it. So I'm trying to think. I'm how, already, are you, how are you going to outdo that next year? Well, that's <laughs> what I'm already thinking about. I'm wondering. I'm like, okay, so next year. I almost want to just invite everybody back to have another game show like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next year, I got to figure out like how do we with the Grand Bassers, Like, is it another game show situation? Is it another something like that? Like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. spinning of the wheel, or <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out something. Aaron does an amazing job. Obviously, I want him to be the Man. host again. And then what's cool is after we did the first segment of yeah. you know it's all fun and jokes, we actually got to kind of talk about it and yeah. give some advice to people that are interested in the program. Yeah, yeah it was really, really good. Really so good. It was good. Uh, then right in after our break, then we went back in and we did the detail factory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys got to see a lot of their new offerings with the new octane line, the new colorways. I was um, genuinely surprised at how intense like the commentary was about those new brushes and new colorways days before the thing actually went live. Mm-hmm. So people were going crazy for the colors even before it happened. Yeah. Then Anthony, some hot ego talk. Mm, you got yes. to learn all the ins and outs of the ego line with Chris Metcalf. I was blown away, literally. I was blown away. Um, we got to see the new pressure washer, crazy. the new vacuum, the fans, the lights, the tools. The only thing we didn't get was the mini bike. 
Yeah, well, I mean, the whole segment was, I think, probably the most interesting because I, I, I knew that mini bike existed, right? So that was really fun. But I think I was mostly interested in being like, okay, how... <laughs> How, which batteries go where, right? How can we use this with this? And then when we got to the pressure washer thing, I was like, hot damn. Like, this is crazy. Because in that we have theory, this technology yeah. to be able Bluetooth. to. Bluetooth. Yeah. Bluetooth, throw a hose in a bucket, suck out hot water if you want to no, pressure the, wash the, like that. The absolute convenience crazy. of having all of your like pressure controls and everything at the handle of a pressure washer is just awesome. Or like the vacuum. That's where he had yeah, it. That the vacuum. vacuum. So that sick. was so cool to be able to... Because maybe you're standing 20, 30 feet away. You don't necessarily want to go walk back just to adjust the speed yeah. or something. Yeah. It's all right there. That it was, was awesome. crazy cool. I love that kind All of the thing. tech. Just the note that that's like the future of Truly detail. innovative kind of stuff. Well, like, no, that's what I was, that's I was what legit. Keenly kept saying in the segment, like, hey, we're, we're living in like the golden age. Like, this is doesn't get any better than The commenters kept the... echoing that afterwards. They kept saying the golden age of detailing after that, too. Like, it was funny. Like, think of the, the tools that we have. It's incredible. Crazy to be able to have this, oh, and yeah. like the battery technology is so good, like it's 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 better than the corded stuff in some cases. So yeah. now you can't say like, oh well, you know, it's still not better than the cord. Like those ego batteries are insane. <laughs> the whole charging station, the yeah, inverters. well, like what Flex was showing and Ego was showing their battery technology was they said most batteries are like people fi- like a bunch of people in an auditorium yeah. funneling out one door. Yeah. Yeah. But the ego and the flex batteries are the amount of power that you get is like four doors. Yeah. Right. Well, they're, and they're coming smart out. They, there's to figure there's out how to bigger, distribute the there's energy. There's a bigger flow of yeah. energy consistent that is continual. It doesn't die off. Like a lot of people will look and go, oh, I saw on insert whatever rando purchasing site event, Alibaba or whatever. Oh, I've seen like a pressure washer that has batteries, does that stuff. That's not new. It's like, no, the way they do it is so much better than oh, whatever cheapo random thing you found well, online. This is truly I'm excited like for them to bring well out a car. made. People don't realize and well that thought out. Our TVs, all the TVs in the studio were all yeah, all our TVs were running yes. on the Ego batteries. And for yeah, your information, the last day when everything went out, those TVs did not go out. The batteries were powering them. They were fine. The issue was in here where stuff was plugged into the wall. Yeah. That was different. So we'll get to that. Don't it's worry. pretty crazy. Anyway. And I have then, a lot of comments. I more want hot to battery talk straight end. into Rupes playing with the new polishers. Yep. The yes. new intermediate pad. Um, that was my first time getting to play with it. Uh, and then Jason Rose squirted me in the face with compound. That was so uh, funny. So you could just fun. see the blue shoot off screen. And you're like, wait yeah. a second. It, Levi's over. And you look back. It's like. <laughs> they covered my face. Oh, uh, so That bad. was a good time. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> Whoops. then we talked to Stinger, uh, yep. a brand you guys probably may have heard of, maybe didn't know. They are all over the world in the U.S. They are a manufacturer of chemicals. But the biggest thing that they wanted to show off was their new training facility in Houston mm-hmm. that is free. Mm-hmm. And they host Pretty trainings cool. once a month uh, at their training center in Houston. All you got to do is get, your, get yourself there, yeah. um, which I think is an invaluable tool for folks that are maybe that are DIYers that are looking to start a business and start in the detailing uh, maybe before you take that jump of going, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing a couple custom. I mean, how many people have we heard that are like, I just don't know how it's taken me six hours to do a car yeah. and I read your SOP and it, I should, should I be taking two hours to do this car? I don't know. And I don't know if I can make enough money this way. Mm-hmm. Go down to Houston, take the trip, take the, take the class mm-hmm. yeah. because they will teach you the basics of how to make it through a vehicle how to work on a vehicle, and then on top of that, they yeah, the fundamentals, but then they can expand upon that and keep expanding upon it. And their trainers are all very well endowed in the training facility and in terms of knowledge and experience and years, but all they want to do is try and help you. Then go take another training from another detailer or another group. Get the basics down. Get to learn how to detail and what chemicals are and how they work and why you do this and why you don't do that. It's, uh, it's like any there other There is a lot of knowledge though. on YouTube, but it, having someone literally teach you and show you in a classroom setting is completely unmatched. Before you go crazy doing all a bunch of advanced stuff, though, if you don't master your fundamentals first, you won't understand why the more advanced stuff works the way it does. Exactly. You can try and replicate it based on what you saw someone else do, but if you don't have those fundamental skills in place beforehand and have that natural like muscle memory, all those things worked out, you're just not going to be as good well, as you could be. A lot if of people you had forget that, that when you start a new job, mm-hmm. 
you go through a training. Yeah, you're not going to be the best on day one usually. Right. You're going to go through a training, but detailing is one of the is and some of these side hustles are people make that transition and they don't do a proper training. Yeah. They just go, "Well, I'm pretty good at what I'm doing. I'll do it." But you have to be trained in in the proper use of everything so that yeah. your time is going to be used effectively. And that's the goal of that. So really impressed with uh, Dan and what Stinger had to offer for all yeah. of you guys on Thursday. Yeah. Or Tuesday. Then Tuesday night, we went out to dinner. Mm-hmm. We went over here to Sockeye. Yeah. And Good that was time. fun, uh, actually, doing all the golf and Yeah, a little golf, a little uh, indoor golf course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so folks were playing golf, and we had some sliders and some uh, – uh, chicken strips and some pretzel it, bites and they were good snacks. It just it occurred good. to me a lot of finger foods, the but it was delicious. The potential danger if somebody hit a ball too hard in that huge glass atrium. Oh, yes, yeah, oh, yeah. boy, yeah. you're lucky everybody. Behaves hopefully everything in there. had hopefully everything had like unbreakable film on it. Right, or something. yeah, gotta like, have some kind of layer. It was uh, <laughs> Avery makes a security glass film. Yeah, they were that you talking about that. That was yeah. cool. Um, but yeah, so they uh, so anyway, we did that, and then uh, and and by the way, for those that didn't tune in. And you're just now catching up. Uh, every morning and uh, mid show was done by Jamie and Alex, and they killed and they did it. A great they job. did such a so, great job. Yeah. Then Seriously, Wednesday, well, well, cast, yeah. Jamie and Alex. go ahead. <laughs> what do you got? Tuesday night. Okay. Oh, Tuesday night. What happened after? Oh. There was an adventure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, you guys, what'd you do? Go go to well, like a hot new club or so no sockeye something? sockeye happens to be very close to another a, uh, potential hotspot location stumbling distance some would say yes yes you could stumble your way to my house ah the house on Hennon hill yes yes mm-hmm. yes so so what'd you think i i, I so i you guys know that i volunteered dane to like host people <laughs> right i said hey dane yeah he just kind of made I it a said, thing i said probably one of these nights we're going to go to your house and probably just go hang out and dane's like well, like, well the house isn't clean i, I I gotta tell Liz, you know, and I'm like, well, I mean, I'm just saying, you don't have to clean the house, but we'll just. Because if they go outside, you're we're, definitely gonna we're, come inside. We're, at we're some just point. gonna show up, and so, <laughs> anyways, fortunately, thank you, Liz, if you're listening to this. For she, she, I don't, I, I the house looked clean to me. I don't know yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, it looked good. So no, good I mean, job. honestly, it looked more or less like it normally does. It's just it was particularly dirty that week because the dog had gone in and out in the mud. So there was yeah. definitely some yeah. of that. I'm yeah. sure well, you the, guys uh, are getting to see yeah. the inner workings of that. Uh, <laughs> well, I think we may see it, oh, but they may not. Oh, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, we ended up um, going to Dane's house, mm-hmm. going, getting a tour, right, of the inside of his home, right, yeah. going to all three stories. Yeah. And what was funny was telling Katie about <laughs> first, this. First, second, and third Well, because, like, Dane really only probably needs to show people, like, the very first floor, but the second floor, right? But he likes to show right? the third floor. But, like, he goes, all right, well, you guys can come Did up he here. it with and this like, is where the yeah. magic happens? And it's kind of like, well, Dane, we don't we don't have to go in your room. Like, that's your yeah. that's your master bedroom. He goes, no, come on up. I'm like, so, well, ignore the pile of clothes. I, I want you to see the view. I think it's because it's not closed off. But I'm it's also just part of the house. If nobody's learned anything about me at this point, it's I'm Mr. Transparency. So I'm like, here's the awful paint job they did when they restored this bathroom <laughs> on the ceiling. It's so like he's showing, showing and I'm like just like, just so I can get that out of the way, so I don't have to like explain it later. I'm like, that's the part I need to fix. So so funny. So but we, the view out was very nice from the third floor, right? Yeah, see out and yeah. We saw the third floor, and then um, <laughs> from there we went to the backyard, and this is where guys, I was in, I was in tears. I was, I was, I was, I was, because I'm standing uh, over Dane's balcony, right? His second story. <laughs> overlooking his, essentially his backyard or his front land. yard, however you look at yeah, it. You know, the, the grassy portion, right? Uh, mm. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, Dane, you're not like push mowing this, are I you? Am. And he goes, no, I am. And everybody and goes. And then I showed you my lawnmower. And then everybody goes, well, Dane, this is a lot of lawn, right? Like this is like riding Because I'm used to people being territory. like, you just, come on, don't be a baby. You can push, and, long, push that long. Well, they all looked and went, yeah, no. And I'm like, Dean, <laughs> I'm like looking at this stuff, I'm like, Dean, you're going to roll your ankle on this much grass. Like this is not good, mm-hmm. right? So we go out there, we, we start laughing about the lawn situation, right? And, and so he takes us on this adventure, we go into his backyard <laughs> and that's when we get to the, the back, the terrace, right? Yeah. You know, his oh, whole yeah. mountainside. Right. So... It's Dane, pretty steep in Dane places. goes, all right, it well, is, come yeah. on back here, right? So we start walking back I open there. the fence, and you're like, oh, you're not going to open that. And I, like, smash my finger in the fence, and I'm like, I'm opening it. <laughs> it's me, Dane, Jamie, Hunter, Alex, and Matt, yeah, right? right? So we got the full Grand Bastard crew. Oh, and so good. Dane's like, yeah, come on back here. So we start hiking up his his 
property, right? It's a mountain. Well, you're going for a, it's a hike. And so we're up there. Enjoyable after dinner hike. I'm thinking we're probably just going to show off like the bottom area. Like, all right, cool. This is sweet, right? You know that's and then not how Dane I roll. just keeps kind of going up like a little mountain goat, right? So we're like, oh, Come on, we'll guys. keep going. So if I can do it, anybody up. can do it. Come on. Climb the hill. <laughs> so I'm like, Dane, what are these hoses up here? And he goes, oh, it just keeps it. Keeps it's like it, a drip line. Keeps, it, keeps yeah. it wet so yeah. it doesn't dry out. Because like, I have a lot of trees yeah. back there. You turn make them on sure they turn on your sprinkler. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. it, it just connects. Sure, right. So then we keep going a little, a little further, <laughs> and then we start finding like children's shoes, and like, <laughs> and, like there was a basketball it's underneath one of the trees. It's clearly stuff that had been launched over the fence at some point in the past, and, and routinely because I don't go up there all the time. <laughs> I don't even know this stuff's there until we so go up. <laughs> we keep going, <laughs> and then I go. We get to like the very top corner. Yeah. I go, Dane. On a real note. When's the last time you actually came back here? And he goes, mm-hmm, probably like a year ago. And I'm like, a it's not year? like I go up there regularly. Dane, a year ago? You like you own this. It's not like it's that far from like you could literally you could throw a baseball over to here, yeah. but you're not walking as, this as property. Someone like yourself who's yeah. done a lot of property work on your own property this yeah. year. I know it's Thank unfathomable you. To, you. to you. No to interest that. has no interest in going back there. So we're walking through there. I just like looking at it. So then it was me. It was me, Dane. It was me, Dane, and then Hunter, and then Jamie, and I think Alex. We're kind of over on this one side of of the of the yard over there, right? And we we're missing Matt for yeah. a minute, right? Like, oh where, yeah. Like, where's Matt at? Then Matt kind of comes walking around the corner. It looks like he's seen a ghost, and I say, Matt. What's going on? He goes, did you guys notice like that perfect you know circle? Of, she was like, very creeped out by like, like, the, like, li- of, like I have these flowers. like really nice flowers that only bloom a couple times a year, and in one part it's like they're like orchids or lilies or something like that, but they have kind of long triangular but very narrow kind of shaped like a canoe yeah. leaves um and then once in a while they bloom like white or uh pink or purple <laughs> no, dude but so it's like this in the back circle it's like this it's like a like shaped like a like a horseshoe just around this one area coming off of the fence and it's like that matt was freaked no, out he was it. in the middle of it and so i looked at him looking he'd seen it goes i said what's that he goes do you know staying in that patch over there got this like, weirdest feeling and i go like mid samar vibes or like <laughs> like, what? like like what happened he goes dude i don't know like some like witchy he's like vibes. you're sure he wasn't like so buried here like, i'm what? pretty sure dane's backyard is a home of seances right or like there's <laughs> There's oh, powerful. Is, there's how, ley lines. How would he know anyways? He doesn't yeah. go back there. Yeah. So of course they're casting spells. <laughs> probably cells, burying right? animals. Oh, so there's oh, probably man. buried animals or something's yeah, back on a that hillside. Cemetery. But it, it, that like, is a there's pet a cemetery. fence and then there's houses and a street right on the other side of the fence at the top. So yeah. it's just like more stuff. So naturally. So then my favorite part, we keep going along this fence line, and I go, Dean, your fence is broken here. You can yeah. just walk through this area. And he goes. Well, I mean, what's the? There's just animals. It's a secondary barrier fence, yeah. so it's separate from the fence that keeps my dog in the yard. Right. Sure. Anyways, it is, it, it is a secondary. But it is fence. A, it is but worse for wear though. But regardless, sure. it is a broken area of the fence. Like, Dean, you got to zip some screws in this bad boy. Get a couple. Right? Go, yeah. go, go get, get some, a couple pickets. Get some lags or something. So we keep going around. <laughs> That's right. We need to do a ghost dusters. Up oh there. my god! <laughs> no, you guys don't awesome. understand because this it is a lot of like not acreage. That's I mean, how we continue acreage. it. Like it, there's a lot of space back there. There truly it's a is. half acre. Um, it's three quarter acre. It's just three quarters really of an acre. Yeah, usable. it's a lot of land, but it's straight up like this. But there's like a ton of trees. There's a ton of it's kind of terrace that goes up and then flat. Yeah. random flat. stuff uh, back there. But it was just kind of mind blowing. And then the fact that Matt was so freaked out, he didn't stop talking about it, dude. He goes, <laughs> "Do you guys like want to go?" <laughs> like he was it? obsessed with because he goes, "Does anybody want to go see what I saw so I just feel better about it?" Right. And I go, <laughs> I go, "Matt, I'm not, not wanting to get haunted." I saw it and I'm like. Not the least bit bothered by it, but he's like, I swear, there's a there's like an unmarked grave yeah. there or something. Like, it's like, I'm oh like, my, I'm not, what? I'm not getting haunted by that. Like, I got, <laughs> I, 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 like, I, it's totally it's just some flowers doing yeah. a little. Dude, I got back pain. I can't yeah. afford to be haunted as well. So, anyways, so we did that. Went down the mountain. Uh, Callie ended up climbing up. Dane had to Billy Goat gruff it to go like capture her. That was a hilarious <laughs> thing to see. And then, um, anyways, that was our night though. We ended up leaving yeah. a little bit after that, but yeah. it was hilarious. I'm glad you guys have fun though. Dane's backyard is absolutely haunted and <laughs> yeah, I think probably, Jamie and Alex are going to have to do an overnight there. <laughs> probably probably should, yeah. Yeah. Instead just, of getting rooms at the home to suites one of the nights you'll just camp on my hill. How's that? Well, yeah. and I think a couple, just couple single pup tents on the yeah. terrace. 
is <laughs> you need to go back there more often today. <laughs> I, I just don't. Uh, there's no reason for me to go up there go. other than maybe repair the fence. So, or, yeah, or kick it off. Maintenance or yeah, anything. right? There's nothing there's to maintain. Fences. The point is it's like low maintenance on purpose. Yeah. So the Wednesday morning after that, that haunting on Hen and Hill, uh, <laughs> Chris from G-Technic kicked it off, uh, and we just ran through the G-Technic lineup for maintenance washing and gave you guys some do's and don'ts, um, as well as talked about their new training center that they have, their new facility in, jo- in Georgia. Yeah. Um, it looks beautiful. It's in uh, Cumming, Georgia. Yes. And then uh, then we went into Detailer's Roadmap with Chris DiGiovanni and yep. Jamie the Cleaner. And for those Funny of you guy. that are running businesses and websites, uh, reach out to them. Uh, they they had a lot of great topics and and uh, Good questions tips and tricks too. that you can do for your own website, um, which I thought was really great. Uh, then we had Matt from ScanGrip talk about some of the new lighting fixtures and, and features that some of the new lights have, uh, as well as the fact that their new battery-powered lights are also utilizing a new adapter technology so that, that they can use very any cool. power tool super battery, cool. which is super rad. So smart. So no, good, good really, for them really to good. bring that out. Again, these guys are just <clears throat> working at trying to make it easier on all of us uh, with the new products. Uh, then uh, we went into a pre-recorded uh, demonstration from Optical uh, about awesome. their PPF, yeah, which again, good. same kind of thing. They're doing uh, uh, trainings all around the country. The uh, demonstration was really good, by did the a, way. Yeah. Anybody wondering, should check it out. Yeah, so that was super cool. Um, and the, again, like I said, they're hosting trainings everywhere. Um, and then uh, IK. Mm-hmm. That was, the, uh, that was so fun. Broke our internet. Yeah, yeah. no, literally. With Everybody some products and projects and all kinds of stuff. That was uh, <laughs> one of those we were like, oh, my gosh, can't believe that. Yeah, that IK, um, insane. So uh, that was cool uh, with some stuff that uh, is not coming out for quite a long time. Sorry, guys. Uh, you're just going to have to be ready and just know the future Sema is going to change. time this year is what the we The golden matter. age the of golden detailing age. is but here. You know what? Better. Okay, for those who missed it, though, uh, lids. Yeah, lids are, are coming people sooner have gone rather crazy. than later. But about the lids, lids and it's a lid and measuring cup yeah, measuring all in cup. one. Yeah. And it is it is not just some like simple little flat cap. Mm, it goes yeah. on. It's very substantial, very durable. It's the IK quality you're expecting yep. and wanting. Yep. Uh, then Buff and Shine popped on to talk about the edge guard uh, technology on mm-hmm. the pads and the new three and six inch sizes, uh, as well as design. the fine. Uh, then uh, we finished it out with our friends from Stoner's Car Care mm-hmm. talking about the differences in their I iron removers. Wish they could have mm-hmm. been here, uh, which is super cool. And yeah. then some of their products. And one thing we talked about again: Stoner's is truly trying to commit themselves hard to the detailing. They've always been yeah. around the detailing industry, but never in the detailing industry, so to speak. They've but always like felt the like they've enthusiast side yeah, of it. The they've side always that's been like very online and active. Yeah, they're really looking at they're that really more and pushing attention. pushing that to where. Um, they can help answer questions and, and get everybody in the door to detail, yes. so to speak. And the Cliff's Notes version for like those wondering, like, oh, I heard that that you know odorless you know iron remover, I heard it stains concrete or whatever. They came up with a solution for that. Yeah, for folks so, that did, didn't want it staining by making a version that does not include the indicator. Uh, basically, the colorant, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That I forget yeah. the name of the thio. Uh, thio glycolate. Glycolate. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you got it. Yeah. It doesn't have that, but that's okay. It still functions. So the point is, you have an option that will not stain. It can do everything you still want it to do. It just won't have the indicator, and that's their solution. And from all the things Super people have cool. said, it works. works. Yeah. Uh, and then that night we went to uh, <clears throat> base camp again. For yep. throwing axes and yeah. all that stuff. That was a good night. Yeah. Nice night. And then uh, Thursday morning kicked it off with Coach Kemi mm-hmm. and their new rinseless wash, which was amazing. Which mm-hmm. Along Joey with uh, out here. AW, <laughs> their alkaline wheel cleaner, mm-hmm. the SO2, and uh, what was the other product they were talking about? The beauty of an uh, alkaline wheel cleaner is it can be used uh, on tire tires glaze. and stuff. That and they the have tire, one, glaze, tire glaze, which look good. Um, plus their new project car they've been working on. Yeah, the, the X-Wagon, I believe it was. Yeah. Then right after that was Lars from Color Lock. Lars and Brian. Brian's been going to be – Brian's going to be traveling the – the U.S. hosting color lock trainings. Nice. So if it's something you want to start adding to your repertoire of detailing and start adding services like tear and, <clears throat> and uh, scuff and, and yeah. hole repair, uh, you got to see Lars repair a hole in under 30 minutes yep. um, and make it almost a perfect, perfect uh, seamless repair. Um, 
that is something you guys want to check out. Go to colorlock.com and get uh, find yeah. out when Brian's hosting all those dates. Then it was Anthony and I kicking butt and taking names, talking yeah. about all the new Ultra line of products <laughs> and everything that that uh, we've developed as a company. You did a great uh, for job, you guys, wrenching. this year. Um, well, yeah, the the oil and putting a little caulk uh, in that bank, car too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. caulking the, on a brand new car. Some caulk and, yeah. and bank, but we got to talk about ultra t- the ultra air tools, ripping rags, uh, the new USS, uh, the new ultra wheel and body brush, uh, the ultra utility brush, the clay, everything that you guys have seen that says the ultra <clears> line. <throat> we really wanted to talk about what ultra is to us, and and then. Uh, we also kind of talked about the dedication that we've put into developing these products for yeah, you guys. and you can so. expect more in the future from that line. Um, then, finishing out that last afternoon was Lake Country, talking about some of their new pad offerings that are going to be coming out. Um, those silk wool blends I've been using. Yeah. Uh, they also, uh, Oberk sells them as what's known as a Thundercut pad. Mm. Beautiful pad. Beautiful pads yeah. for wool rotary sanding work. Uh, then Dr. G popped in with a little Optimum talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, bringing products. Those were his new products that he brought to yeah. us. We have the new wheel and tire uh, cleaner, and then we have the new waterless wash, which is exciting. Yeah, a new formulation, basically. Um, and then uh, then Rotafest, Rod and Jody. Oh, they Those guys it, are so absolutely fun. kill it every year. Wonderful people. They're very energetic, and they brought a fun presentation this time. Yeah. And, you know, again, their software was originally developed – because uh, paintless dent repair guys would go hail chasing, yeah, and they would take paper invoices, oh boy, and they yeah. would leave them in their trucks, and they would be they would do a full season. Some of these guys would get two hundred, mm. three hundred, half a million dollars in invoices that they would ha- they would be driving around in boxes. You're tracking that on with paper. That's paper crazy in their cars, and so to have the ability to create a program for phones that they could scan, yeah. they could add all their services, and they could email. Everything I off the to the FS and Road FS is field service. Stands right? for field service. So yeah. they make it now for detailers. Um, it's something they've had for about five years now, and it's a great system to get started um, for, for sure. folks. And then Koenig, uh, our friends from Koenig Wheels, yeah. Yeah. dropped a, dropped some wheel knowledge for you guys. Some new, of the new offerings. New wheels. They're gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Coated, we coated a wheel. And then we coated yeah. a wheel using their new little coating kit. And that's another thing. This is a wheel company that has developed a proper coating kit. With a proper manufacturer of coatings so that you can get the best protection on your new set of wheels, which I think yeah. is huge. And that's something they wanted to show. They partnered People with G Technic to create a wheel kit. So when you buy your new wheels, you can get a coating kit and put them on. So it's just proof in the pudding that, you know, the that there are brands out there for your vehicles that are actually listening to the detailing industry and understanding uh, the benefits. They're working on their clear coats to make them work with coatings to yeah. be able to last as long as they need to, which is, again, something that used to not exist. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> super cool. And then the power went out while we were closing out. So let's explain yeah. that but, part because people watching may not have had any clue what the weather was like outside. We had a storm going on We had, on had out a there. wild week where it went yeah. from like – Kind of chilly, some clouds to oh my god, this is sunny, this is beautiful, amazing. Let's open the garage yeah. door to unbelievable hail. Crap, storm. Here comes the hail, and by the end of the week, it was snowing, so yeah. it was a madhouse. But the lightning and thunder was intense, yeah. And there was afternoon. a there was a lightning strike somewhere nearby that was enough to knock out the power briefly, yeah. Um, and that took out the systems, and we have. Many redundancies and backups, and backups built in. Yeah. So it fortunately, it did work, but it took it within an inch of its life. And you got to see Glenn's graphic that she hoped no one would ever see. But at the same time, it was kind of vibey and cool. So it worked. there's yeah. that. It and it gave us out. the time to get back and do our outro the way we wanted to. Yeah. yeah. So and then out. Thursday night, you guys <laughs> went to dinner at Coins. Yep, we did. Yes. Kind of close out dinner at Jeff's f- favorite restaurant. Yep. Yeah. No, it was great. What do you think, Anthony? How would you enjoy that dinner? I think we had a fun time. It was just good. Yeah. Yeah, we joked around a lot. I a lot mean, of tables. We, separate tables yep, or yep. one big table? Uh, like uh, we had like three tables. Me and uh, Justin Dean sit next sit next to me, Grand Bastard of the Year, uh, Mountain Town Detail, right? Some people may know him by that. Mm-hmm. And uh, yep. we sat down, and I had my other Grand Bastards with me. I had Hunter there, I had Matt. Um, I had uh, your brother across from me, yeah. Danny, I had Kira. Um, I had uh, Rich. And uh, I mean, honestly, it was just a good time, dude. It, nice. was, it, it was fun. So, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that rounded out that, that week perfectly. And by the end of it, I think. Friday morning, dude, I was just dead be- mentally, and just I was, I was kind of tired. I felt like I just got done doing a trade show, yeah. like I would SEMA, 
but it was just local this time, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Fun now, time. I got Exodus here asking, what were everyone's favorite off-camera moments at TRC? I enjoyed the hike through my backyard with the guys. I thought that was super fun. That's hiking, probably mine. <laughs> I think the, just hanging out with everybody yeah. is always a good time. Yeah. Especially for me, just being able to see everybody, hang out with everybody is, is huge. So... That's a. It's almost like it refills my tank. You get to catch up with old friends, yeah. and it's yep. it's fun every time. What about you, Anthony? Dude, I honestly i I love the downtime that we have just in our office area here, right? So the show could be going on, but like people who aren't on air, right? We're usually just back here, kind of over by the our desk, and just kind of chit chatting and talking. I just loved hanging out with all, you know, the whole group of people, and and. It's funny because so many people notice that we're all like such like-minded people or we all like get along so mm-hmm. well and people are like, well, is that normal? Like, is everybody normally this cool? And I go, I don't, I can't speak for every part of the industry, but I think that people that we surround ourselves with are this cool and yeah. this yeah. fun. Yeah. So. so I've got a, just a slew of about 10 different comments and questions I'd like to get to before yeah. we wrap up today's thing. Some of them we kind of already answered, so I was removing a few, but if we could just get to these, I've got... Kirby asking, curious, how many orders were placed last week? Your shipping department crew dreads those weeks, but does great handling on uh, orders. I don't have that number off the top of my head, Kirby, but it was a lot, and it was it was more than our – we did better than our Black Friday sale this Which is saying year. a lot because Black Friday is usually our absolute Which, yeah. top So I know they're still probably packing orders today. Yeah, yeah but True. they handled it really well. Yeah. I definitely saw a lot, and we signed a lot of stuff yeah, we going did. out mm-hmm. as well. So yeah, that was fun. Agree. You got the Grand Ambassadors involved as well. Now, Jeff C. here. Love to hear your guys' thoughts on some of the new products, Frostbite, Rehab, Rinseless uh, RRW, <clears> and <throat> how they stack up to counterparts in the TRC lineup, Active Foam, TLC, ONR. So Frostbite doesn't have nearly the uh, pH it, it doesn't as – it, it it's, it, it, it's good. It's, it's not a, as – It's a different type of cleaner. Powerful as Active Foam. It's about the same as like snow. Yeah, it's <coughs> snow. It's pretty – Not like pretty, snow. It, it, snow and Frostbite would be very comparable. Yeah. Yeah. On, the, on the front. Um, rehab is amazing. Rehab's a lot like TLC yeah. in the sense that it is a pad-dependent cut, but the wipe-off and the scent... Oh, wipe-off is they amazing. They figured that out. Takes it to the next level. That's Wipe-off cool. and scent are pretty incredible. Yeah. So, I mean, that's definitely worth picking up. And then, obviously, the rinseless wash from Coach is... is um, I think that's, that's going to be... That's going to be... I mean, it is a top three, <clears> but I yeah. think in the market it, itself... I think it's top three in, well, in, in the in the in the grand scheme of things. So yeah. I think with O and R absolute and now R- the coach friends list. If you like O and R, I think I think that um, the coach friends list will fill right at home for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, absolute was a was a different take on rinse list. Right, yeah. it was thicker. Um, it was just different. It's slicker, right, yeah. than most of the So I'd still say Absolute's probably the, the the most slick. But during all of our testing and, I guess, um, yeah. uh, prototype samples a- and Anthony whatnot, and I have been prototyping this for a while. Over and, a year. Um, and we've really enjoyed it. Yeah. And that's what it boils down to. At the end of the day, like, something as sacred as rinseless for us, we take pretty seriously. And uh, so to have that hit the marks that we want yeah. means it's going to work the way we want it to you. You got to remember, there's a ton of rinseless products on the market. We don't carry them and we don't carry them for a reason. Right. It's not that they're not bad. They just don't. It take, doesn't suit your sensibilities no, or they your don't, taste. They don't check our boxes. Yeah. There's the certain rapid, things you're not Rapid wanting. rinseless will, <clears throat> again, if you like O&R, you're going to like rapid rinseless. Yeah. Uh, rapid rin- rinseless, the first few versions that we had of that, Oh my gosh! It was like the cleanest clean we've ever had, so right? Clean. Like yeah. squeaky clean. Yeah. But the problem the was, really is we well. had to kind of give them some feedback and say, "Hey, it cleaned really well, and the surface was almost too squeaky clean." Yeah. Right. Like that it, you're literally that squeaking. It didn't. It, it, just didn't <laughs> it didn't feel. Uh, yeah. It's kind of. No, it's kind of grabby because it's so clean. So you need to add some, you know, some friction modifiers or something to this to make it a little bit, uh, or, or lo- lower the surface tension to where it feels a little bit slicker because that's what people are going to compare it to, right? Yeah. You have V5 yeah. of O&R, you have Absolute, which is you know probably the slickest. So they needed to get up to that to that you know, standard, and now it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a massive contender here in this uh, rinseless game. Agreed. People are going to be picking it up. I'm very impressed and surprised with it. All right, this one's a good one from Neil. I'd love to hear about how much work goes into the planning of TRCMA, uh, scheduling, rehearsing, coordinating, etc. 365 days. Uh, basically, when it's over, we're already we talking literally, about what yeah, we're we've got a do meeting tomorrow <laughs> to go over and then start the planning for next year. 
Now, granted, so. sometimes life gets in the way. We have lots of other projects, and we're not able to really dive deep into what we're going to do for TRC. But we do build maybe... timelines for when stuff needs to be done, yeah. and we kind of work towards those timelines. I'd say realistically, like Nose of the Grindstone, it's somewhere between four and seven or eight months. It, just really, it yeah. really, last year, we or the year before, we started a lot earlier, and we did really well. This yeah. year, we had some some things that we had to change and and come back to so that's where the theme if we do a theme it tends to add a ton of extra complexity Yeah, this year we didn't add a theme we just made it trc so we took the theme out and tried to focus on making the show about itself but realistically yeah dane's right uh there's a good six day about six to eight months of pure hardcore planning and i i will say absolutely a ton of that work goes to blaine goes to nick behind the wall here goes to glenn who's doing all those awesome graphics you guys saw and uh gabe who helps coordinate that stuff but basically it is a full team yeah. effort and then when it comes down to it then it's our job to make sure we uh we run through it correctly so yeah. Yeah. it is it is a lot of work but rehearsing admittedly less of that than we probably should do a lot of times it's uh, a little more last minutey on that front but making sure gears working and stuff these guys all work extremely hard to yeah. make sure everything is as ready as it can possibly be whatever happens after that it can be just freak occurrences that you have to be ready for. But they do build in redundancy, so they really, really do try. There you go. Um, Sheldon here. I'm currently working through the live stream. So far, Viper has been my favorite. <laughs> got to get on those low pro with the backrest and polish. There you go. Mm-hmm. Get it. Then uh, we've got Chris. Will frostbite degrade a no. coating? Okay. No, it won't. Uh, it <clears> is <throat> technically a stripping wash, but it is still uh, It's a little higher pH, so it's not technically neutral, but it is an 8 Okay, and then so. I use Radiance on a quarterly basis for a little deeper clean. We'll try Frostbite when I run out. Okay. Yeah. Then I've got... Pablo Concrete. <laughs> Senor Anthony, try some <laughs> yoga stretches for your back problems. Simple exercises after work six days a week. Give it a few weeks. See how you feel. Hope you get better. Pablo Concrete, right. I am I'm doing all the stretches. I am, again, I'm ready to mount a <laughs> ceiling fan and then hang from it there right you and you upside go. down time <laughs> at this point so we'll see what and level best saying congrats on trc on another C- successful trcma i just got the kcx so03 in the mail hmm. how are you guys diluting in the foam cannon uh pw at 30 mil per liter is perfect through my setup however hoping so03 is similar it's a little similar uh it's about 100 mils it's a little more um than uh protector wax all right. I think last night I did 200 just for fun <laughs> to see. <laughs> just to try uh, it. But, yeah, I did a ton. 100 would probably be do just fine. Kind of crazy. Yeah. All right. Details on me. Good morning. I just wanted to send a shout-out. I was a first-timer to the whole TRCMA show this year, and, wow, I enjoyed every minute of it. Already anticipating next year's show. Thank cool. you. We really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and hopefully liking mm-hmm. and subscribing and all that business. All right, and then she followed up. I, I did miss the opportunity to purchase KCX's new rinse list. Any idea when that'll be back online? Sometime in the next week or two. Okay. Yeah. So we had a small amount, basically what we could get <clears throat> shipped ahead um, for a larger larger pallet. Yeah. So um, we had a couple of cases shipped in for the release, and then we do have a pallet on the way of stuff. So Okay. Then I got Owen here. The color lock demo with Lars was artful. I've signed up for a color lock training in Atlanta. Nice. Excellent. Good, Owen. I think Smart. you're going to be really impressed. I think you're really going to enjoy that class. Yeah. Awesome right. class. So. Just a few but more Macintosh, here. i got to try out the Ultra Wheel and Body Brush. Works very well. Just tossing out the idea, you guys should make an easy detail mm-hmm. type brush with the mm-hmm. bristles from the Ultra Wheel brush. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be the first time I've heard somebody say yeah. something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Pedro, Jamie the Cleaner, and Dewar should be a permanent fixture for TRCMA. We like them a lot. Yeah. And like think they should keep we might, coming We might back. keep them around. Yeah, and and Alex, uh, Alex thinks Uncle Adam stood out. Yeah. So that's yeah. right. You had Uncle Adam in there. Yeah. Then Greg Siebold, when can we expect with the diamond coating for consumers when it's what can we expect with the diamond coating for consumers when it's released in May? Hmm. Uh, Greg, I don't know what you're referring to in that. Yeah, Greg, you would need a little more. The hydro more they talked about was released for Pro, so yeah, and um, and Hydro Two is taking the hydro place of Hydro, is, yeah. so they went in there and they physically changed out all the stuff. So yeah. if you order Hydro, you're getting the well. You have to be a pro to get it, and you yeah, can't you order have it. to be a pro. Yeah, so you have to be there a, is that you have to be a pro in their program. All right, uh, and then I've got this one and one more after that. So up here, I got uh, on my way to do a rinse and wash my mom's Audi. What's a good go-to for Legends coating sheeting after one year? Clay towel with radiation show, perfect. 
There you go. All right. Then I've got, okay, Neil, one thing, Jamie the Cleaner's videos were great, especially love the store of it. Yes, nice. Jamie on his channel did a tour, and he also yeah. did a shopping spree through a warehouse, which was very fun. And uh, I wanted to make sure people check those out as well if you'd like to get a little more TRCMA behind-the-scenes goodness. Exodus here. Humble request for next year. Have a rolling backdrop put behind Anthony's segments instead of the pure white flashbang era. <laughs> ah, sorry, you went blind. Yeah. <laughs> Noted. We'll, we'll, Something to we'll think about. It. All right. So, last is last, and that's just Chris here saying he's got SO3 coming. From Jamie the Cleaner, excited to give it a try. Excellent. Nice. Well, nice. thank you so much to everybody who took the time to watch TRCMA 2024 from whatever device they're mm-hmm. watching from. In some cases, multiple devices. I did notice mm-hmm. that was going on. So, uh, hey, you do you. We ain't going to stop you. That's what we wanted. Yeah. But uh, basically, you guys killed it, and uh, everybody behind the scenes here worked extremely hard, and yeah. the payoff was noticeable. I felt Amazing. like we had the smoothest Amazing. show yet. Yeah. And it was really, really something. So once again, thank you so much. And let's get those views over 10K on each one of those streams. Yeah. If you know people would be interested, yeah, throw it to them. Put them on. Just pl- have them, go go to your work computers, yeah. all your employees or coworkers. <laughs> just put it on there. Say, I just need to do something real quick. Yeah. Just push Agreed. play. And there um, you go. Yeah, so we need you. New product galore, all that good there stuff. Go. If you're not subscribed to the Rag Company channel as well as this channel, make sure you do that soon and click like on this video on your way out the door. We really appreciate it. That's it, guys. Have a wonderful week. We'll catch up with you for Q&A Thursday later on. So take care, and uh, we'll see you then. See ya. See ya.